Hello and a very warm welcome. Good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. We are back. Can you believe it? It seems like it's been absolutely ages, uh, but we are here. Brand new year. So let me wish you a very happy new year. 2021 is here and we're so excited here at Crafters TV. Great to be back. I know loads of you have been waiting for this show as well. It seemed like a long time, hasn't it? Uh, but we are here and we are, I tell you what, launching the brand new year with a brilliant show um, launch day today a brand new launch and something which I think we specifically kept back because we wanted to kind of launch the new year with a bang we wanted to kind of start the new year as we mean to go on and that's exactly what we're going to be doing over the course of the show today um, a brand new collection which I think you're going to absolutely love a brand new collection which actually is a bit of a new concept to me and one I think we've only done once before going back about eight months so it's a long long time and actually a concept which I haven't seen very much in the crafty world before so it's something that I think you're gonna absolutely love and if you love a show that is jam-packed full of technique and inspiration and demonstration that is exactly what you are gonna see over the course of this show so many demos so many techniques and actually um, Sarah's with me and I'll, I'll, I'll give her a big introduction in just a second because uh, I know she's as excited as I am but before the show she said to me about all the demos that she's going to be doing and actually blown away by what Sarah's going to be doing over the course of the next couple of hours. I mean she said what she's going to do whether she manages to do it all in the two hours remains to be seen but I've got faith in the boss and it's lovely to see her back uh, because Sarah is here. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Well you see Ben this is the joy of having a week off work. <laughs> it means I can take, I've had all this time to play. I've got way carried away. I've got loads of shows this week and I've been way too carried away getting ready for the shows. The amount of knowledge and um, demos, techniques, everything that I want to impart in the next couple of hours. As Ben said, whether I get through everything or not remains Debatable. to be seen. But it, uh, as Ben said, this is like... It's not a new technique. We've done this before, but we've never done it at this level. Should, should I show you, Ben? Should I show them kind of what we're talking yes. about, right? Because what we're talking about is when we've done embossing folders, not just regular embossing folders, 3D embossing folders and stencils to match. So, for example, if you have a look at this one here, now it's always hard to see because you can never see on the front of the 3D embossing folders, right? This, by the way, is a beautiful butterfly. Wow. And what you've got is, you've got this amazing 3D embossing folder so that everything is really tactile, Ben. You can really feel the wings on the butterfly there, all those pieces. And then we've got two stencils, so not just one, but two, so that you can do 3D layering stencil techniques over top of where we've done the embossing. So they're really different. Like you said, you, we do loads of work with folders, Ben. We do loads of work with stencils. Once in the past, did we do a collection of folders and stencils that work together? Yeah. You guys love them. I don't know why it's taken us so long to do another collection. They are the most beautiful, gorgeous designs with the, the incredible sculpting in the 3D folders. And I've got some texture paste. I've got some of my sparklings. I've got some aqua tins. We're going to be doing some work with all of our different types of ink pads i'm going to be doing layering blending creating our own background so many techniques to show you so i can't wait i want to know what everyone's most excited to see ben and i'll make sure i focus on that absolutely brilliant i wasn't lying you see so many demos coming up so many different techniques so you know whether you're experienced crafter or brand new to this then you have got the ability to um take so much from this show it's going to be amazing uh, and as i said the great thing is, um, is that you can um, obviously get in touch with us on the social, on uh, YouTube, on Facebook. You can let us know uh, what you love. And actually, during the show as well, we want to know what your favourite demo is. So as we head through the show and Sarah finishes um, the, the various demos and the various cards, let us know which ones you like the best because we are going to crown um, our favourite card at the end of the show. So uh, whether you just let us know or whether you give us uh, marks out of 10, however you want to do it, um, 
um, let us know. We'll monitor it through the show and we'll crown our overall winner um, at the end of the show from all of your comments. But as Sarah said, get interactive with us. Let us know what you want to see. Any questions, as always, that you want to ask, maybe about stencils, maybe about 3D embossing folders, whatever it is, you can get in touch on the social, um, on Facebook and on YouTube. And of course, if you want to um, send us uh, messages as well, you can do that uh, to the studio email address, uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, it is right. It's, 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 uh, I'm <laughs> you know, guessing. you give the lad a week off work. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. It's been 13 days, Sarah. It's a long time. 13 days. I don't know if I authorised that long off work, Ben. I mean, when I said have a bit of a break, I didn't mean like a month off. <laughs> Well, that's what it feels like anyway. <laughs> um, but listen, here are the details right now. I'll go through the boards with you so you can see everything that you're going to get. But you can be one of the very first people to get your hands on this. Everyone already going for the full collection. The 3D folders um, and the stencils, it's a six piece collection. And what I love about this as well is that we bring you something brand new, but we already give you an amazing deal, saving $14.95 or $19.43, $44.99 or $58.27 is the deal on this today. What I will tell you from the top, um, there's a slight delay on the dispatch. Um, lots obviously going on. I'm sure you've um, heard in the news, particularly over here with um, queues at the ports, with everything that's going on. Um, so you will be one of the very first people to get your hands on this. Uh, and we hope to have it with you very, very soon indeed. But listen, the point is, you can get your hands on this, be one of the very first to be working with this. And as I've said, um, I've, I've, kind of, I've kind of seen um, 3D embossing folders before, I've seen stencils before, but I've never seen a collection which kind of brings um, both together and allows you to be able to create beautiful projects like this. I'll quickly whiz through um, the, the different samples that you're gonna get with this so you kind of know, and then we'll head over to Sarah and she can sort of take you through uh, the kind of technique a little bit more with this. So, what what you're ben, gonna get, that is gorgeous. What, it that is one. absolutely gorgeous. This is your um, lovely rose. And what I love about this, actually, again, as I just quickly um, go through to show you the beautiful lilies, it's it's not one of those things again which you're going to be kind of like scratching your head about. If you've never crafted before, you've got all of the tools here that you need to be able to create projects like this, no problem at all. This one is absolutely gorgeous take a look at that that is your gorgeous hummingbird again all of the different concepts come together here to be able to create these gorgeous cards you've and then what, got i think what you can never appreciate on the screen as well ben you yeah. keep looking at ben's beautiful samples absolutely i'll tell you all about them you can't appreciate how tactile they are can you not i wish we could i wish we had touch of vision i wish touch people could like reach through the camera that one's got a bit of embossing powder on there actually which will really show it well but you can just see on them butterfly wings how they're shaped We've never, ever, ever been able to achieve that before. 3D embossing folders with the stenciling on top. It's like it's like whole new level embossing for us, Ben. That for me, I think, is absolutely gorgeous as well with the um, the dandelions on. And you can see, again, so many different um, mediums you can use with this as well, right? So with the stencils, with the embossing folders, there's so many different things that you can do, isn't there? Oh, I can't wait. To, I, I, honestly, I can't wait to show you. I've got texture paste. I've got um, I've got different ink mediums for us to work with. That is brilliant there where someone's done the spritz on the back there like you said there's loads of techniques we've got tons of samples and then also, obviously I've got loads of demos to show you oh I love that one that was your delicate <gasps> dandelions this is your perfect poppies or precious poppies I should say absolutely gorgeous um, so all six of those that you are going to get uh, that I've just shown you there for $44.99 or $58.27 of course if you're a platinum member take another 20% off that $35.99 or $46.62 is the price that you'll pay today if you want to dip your toe in the water you can go on our multi buy as well you can get any two of these uh, two for £16 or two for $20 uh, th these are going individually as well the lovely roses individually 10% of that stock has already gone um, so go swiftly because we expect it to be very busy a because this is a brand new launch don't forget b you can be one of the very first people to get your hands on this and see actually i think you've missed us you've missed crafters tv and you'll want to get crafting again uh, for 2021 let's see some more samples uh, with sarah because again so many gorgeous gorgeous cards i love this butterfly well how about i show you the six demos that i've planned to get through hoping to be able to share with you so i'm going to start off just showing you the very basics so we're going to do a little bit um with the embossing and then inking the embossing and then i'll show you 
idea how to overlay the stencil and give this like 3D effect on the flowers. So they're very 3D to touch, but then they also look very, very tactile when you start applying the ink. I'm also going to uh, do a little bit with this. Now this oh, one wow. here is apparently the most popular one already individually. Now, can you see what I've done here is I've actually used a little bit of embossing powder to be able to get some highlights on the actual petals of the flower. We can do that using the stencil. Now, the rose is my favorite one from this one. I love the detail that you can put in. So you can have the detail from the embossing, yeah. but then look, look how actual, look how rounded that bud looks. And it looks rounded, Ben, because it is rounded because you've got the sculpting in the fold. Uh -huh. But then also you've got the fact that we've created the roundness from the layers of the stencils. So every one of these cards, honestly, different techniques. We're going to do some letter pressing technique. Hopefully I'll have time to get some of the sparkle paste out and show you the sparkle technique on that one. This one here, we've used a little oh, bit of texture wow. paste. So the whole bit is textured in the background and textured with the embossing folder in this foreground piece as well, with some lovely different background pieces. Honestly, I've got loads of stuff to show you. The folders are gorgeous. Uh, if there's anything you specifically want to see on them, please just let us know. Um, I'm here at your disposal for the next couple of hours if there's something you want to see. Well, there you go. Can't say fairer than that. And that's the brilliant thing. If you're new to us here at Crafters TV, again, of course, demonstration, inspiration, all the techniques that you could want as well. And we do requests within reason, obviously. Uh, but let us know if there's anything that you want to see, anything that you want to ask as well, uh, do get in touch. Phenomenally busy for the full collection. Uh, lots of you going for the multi-buy as well. Lots of different ways for you to be able to take advantage um, of this set. Must say hello to uh, Sarah from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, the first message through on my little tablet today. Sarah, uh, happy new year. Betsy's watching from Texas. Uh, Mariah from New York. And Mary Lee on YouTube says, thank goodness you are all back. I've really missed all of you and missed both the demos and banter. Uh, you all deserve the break, but I missed you all and glad to see you back again. Well, I think it's safe to say we are glad to be back. We, we, we've, we've loved the break, but we are uh, ready and raring to go, uh, particularly with this brand new launch. Get yours now, get this into your basket, get it checked out, and then you'll be safe in the knowledge that yours is coming to you, and then you can get ready uh, for all of the demos and you can start recreating these as well. If you don't want to go for the full collection, uh, you can go individually all right so here we go 9.99 individually or 12.95 uh, again if you're platinum take another 20 percent off that if you decide you want to go for a couple uh, you can do two for 16 or two for 20 dollars uh, we're busy right across the board so i know what you want you want to see some demos so let's get cracking with this and see how it all works um we're gonna be looking at the butterfly first are are we yes, yes. And so with a lot of this ben there's going to be a lot of like you know, fiddling about, mixing, trying different techniques. I'll basically take you on the journey that I went on when I first started playing with them. So, first things first, they are 3D folders, Ben, okay? So when you have a little feeling, for example, I'm feeling here on the butterfly. This is like the butterfly body, I can feel it's rounded. I can feel the middle parts of the flower here, there's a rounded. So these are gonna push up from the bottom. So on the underside, so it's gonna be the top, I can feel them, these are where it's debossed under here. So where we've got the debossed section, so if you think about it, we want the debossing to be underneath, yeah. right? So we want the embossing to be the raised up bit. So that's how you should always think about it. You can just work on the fact that you've got the Gemini printed on the top. But I always like to explain to people in case they want to kind of feel their way and, and know which side's which. So this is the front, the, where it says Gemini. I'm going to lift it up. And first of all, all these sun rays around here, I'm going to just put a little bit of my lemon tonic around the outside of the sun rays. Now I'm using the water reactor of ink pads here uh, Ben okay so that we've got like a little bit of little bit of inking coming through just a little bit on there because I didn't want too much on around where the butterfly is if you wanted to be pedantic you could actually come and rub it off where the butterfly is we don't really need to because we're going to be re-inking over top of the butterfly next but just in terms of letterpress and I say letterpress I mean it's not really proper letterpressing it's like fake pretendy letterpressing <laughs> those of us that like to give letterpressing a little bit of a go but don't even bother getting the brayer out to apply the ink the proper way we just like a little bit of a hint of color at that in there so let's have a little look plenty of lemon tonic going down there 
And then I'm going to take, I've just got a little bit of stamping card in here, yep. which is already cut to the five by seven. So we've got that cut to the right size. You can see where we're going to have that little bit of an ink there, just a little bit coming through. And because it's a 3D folder, Ben, we're going base plate, uh -huh. then your embossing folder, then I've got my magnetic, then my plastic shim. And you're going to pop them straight through your Gemini machine. So I'm going to go, oh, it's, it's all different with this machine over here now, Ben. I'm used to, used to having it, so it on this side. And is this your first, your first time over that side of the studio? No, I've done what I did. I did the very, very first show here. Yeah. But I'm still, oh, I'm just still getting used to it a little bit. Is that? Do you know? I've said all that, and I've. Because I've been talking and not doing, I've yeah. put my ink on the, the wrong side of the folder. Oh, that's all right. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> so, we've got this beautiful embossed butterfly here yeah. with this lovely ink on the background that it we're going to put into. Don't worry, though. I'll not bother re-embossing it. What I will do is use a little bit of a um, little bit of ink just to apply the ink under the folder. I'm wanting you to just be able to... I'm really wanting you to be able to see it well, Ben. So, I'll just I'll just get inking up. As long as you can watch what I'm doing, yeah. uh, you'll, I'll be able to show you all of this now listen um, it's safe to say I think you know that we've obviously all had a bit of um, time off I've forgotten the uh, email address uh, so Sarah's inking on the wrong side of things um, <laughs> and you're breaking the website as well apparently um, we have a few gremlins currently with our website this is this is what happens you see when we all go away for 10 days or 13 days in my case uh, things go wrong um, there's a, a couple of gremlins with the uh, the main bundle currently um, so just bear with us we've got our uh, engineers uh, sorting that out. I think it's displaying that it's out of stock. It is in stock. Um, so we're just getting that sorted for you. So if you can just have patience with us on that, uh, we will get all that sorted for you. Um, of course, don't forget, if you don't want to go for the main bundle, uh, details on your screen now of how you can go individually, or if you want to go on the uh, two for 16 or $20. And I know we've only just started this first demo as well, but lots of you already coming in um, saying that you uh, love the cards. Sarah was showing you at the top there. We're asking for your favorite favorite demo through this show so bear in mind make sure you're taking notes of the demos uh, because we're going to be asking for your favorite one at the end of the show and crowning our, uh, our our favorite demo as voted for by you what are you spraying over there right so I didn't know where uh, I don't know where Brenda lives over you know oh. she got a new home so uh, I've just basically turned behind put a little bit of spray on here you will need it on the other one as well so I'm saying you need it. You don't. You don't need it. You can. Um, you can stick your stencil down with a little bit of stencil tape if you want. I like to just hold the stencil in place, Ben. Yeah. So I like to hold it in place with the. Um, oh, what you call it? With this little bit of spray, stick spray. so that it doesn't move while yeah. I'm doing all of my inking there. Now, what that's doing there now is it's. Pr if I get it in the right place, it is. It is protecting all of the debossed area uh -huh. so that now I can work on just the embossed areas, which is where this, re this is what sets it aside now. So we've been able to 3D all those little bubbles and now I'm going to apply a little bit of ink onto them. So let's just have a little look. Should we get like a little bit of orange on there? I think I'm going to mix a little bit of honey pot and orange to create some of my own special colours. So can you see a little bit of orange around there? I'm talking away, Ben. Actually, what I need to do is just be nice and quiet and let you talk because I can't talk and work at the same time when I'm doing... <laughs> when I, what you'll find is when I'm doing like... Um, when I'm doing all my construction and whatnot, yeah. absolutely fine. Not a problem. I can be doing that till the cows come home, Ben. If you, as soon as you want me to start and do any um, inking, things like that, no, I need to just be quiet and get on with well, it. Well, it's like with the colouring, isn't it? Whenever we do colouring shows together, I, I learn very quickly that once you've started colouring... That's when Sarah yeah, just... stops. There's just no, <laughs> you know, there's there's no talking and colouring at the same time. So we, you can listen to me whilst we're we're watching there because this is this is great. You've got me in a little box and you can see all of the action there as well. Uh, lots of you already getting in touch. Lots of you taking advantage of the deals. Uh, Christine Mahoney on Facebook. Happy New Year! Uh, you guys really have to stop tempting us so much this year. Lol. We only just started. We're, we're 15 minutes into the new First year. First show of the Ooh. year. Starting as we mean to go exactly. on, Christine. What can we exactly say? Exactly right. Uh, Deborah on Facebook. So we had a little brief look at some of the um, cards at the top of the show. Deborah saying, hard to choose on the cards, uh, but I'm liking the hummingbird and butterfly and rose and dandelion. So you Deborah, you're pretty much liking them all, really, is what you're saying there. Uh, brilliant. You can only hear. choose one. 
Okay. You can only choose one, but if your one needs to be the complete collection, that is absolutely fine. <laughs> That's where I would be. Well, there I would you go. like to choose one favourite from all of these. And the thing is today as well, that full collection, once we sort out the Gremlins as well, you're not having to bust the bank to get your uh, get your hands on it either. Uh, Kimberly on Facebook saying, thankful you guys are back. Um, and Dan on Facebook says, taking notes, Ben, is this going to be on the exam, lol? No, what I mean is, when I say taking notes, I mean so that then at the end of the show, you can kind of think to yourself, oh yeah, I like that card the best, and you can let us know what your fave is, because if you don't take notes, then you might forget, you know what I was saying, there won't be an exam, don't worry. Look at this. <laughs> And just what I wanted to do, Ben, is show you all the detail on that butterfly. Yeah. Before we put any of the detail in, I wanted you to be able to see the detail in that beautiful embossing. Wow. I mean, that is just, now that, and that is 3D detail. Look at, Absolutely. Look at that now, now our Adam's just shown off. Yeah. Either that or his camera's stuck on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. going to keep going. He's like, that is he's super like, Zoom. You know what? I'm going to show you because I can. There you go. <laughs> and then the same, if I just take you in that flower, look at those lovely raised bits there around the flower. Yeah. Incredible. So I'm going to put that back down. So there is our. Oh, I see. I've screwed it now for him. So there, I, was, I was too quick now. <laughs> right. Scuppered that one there. Right. Ooh, Let's have a little dear. look. I'm going to position this one over the top now. So this is the second stencil in the This pack, is it? the second layer stencil now. Yeah. So you don't need to do two layers. To be honest, you can just use the 3D folder if you want as a folder. Yeah. I'm going to position it around my butterfly first and then reposition it around my flower just because I'm not getting it exactly right here. Right, here we go. So now I'm putting the detail in. But I'm, I feel like what I'm doing, Ben, is I'm drawn on the detail from the embossing. Yeah. And we're building up that detail so that it's, it's not like... Um, it's not just a 3D picture, it's a very, very tactile 3D picture. In there. So can you see, when I lift that up now, the whole thing yeah, is like yeah. tapered. So we've tapered the outside with the dark to the light, and then we've tapered the detail in there, and I'm going to do exactly the same. So if we line this over now, and, and this is what I'm going to be using a little bit later on in the show to show you how to start and get really, really clever with things like your pigment inks and stuff like that, right? So we're going to get them out a little bit later. So if I pop this detail down here, I'm going to come in with the, some of the lovely fiery red colour down here, but I'm just going to drag it all from one side. Is that, yep. the, is that the body of me? But, oh, no, it's still me flower. We're all good. So I'm just always taking it from one side, as though the light is kind of bouncing from one side and it gives it that real texture. So let's have a little look here. So if I lift that off now, there you see. So we've oh, got that real yeah. texturized look going across. Mm -hmm. And then of course, if you wanted to, you can always bring the first stencil back in. If you were wanting to just kind of like, and blend that out a little bit. I can't blend it out, can I not? Because I've, there we go, I'll start and blend that out a tiny little bit. And this is where you'll find it's nice to start and kind of play a little bit. It's you such just, an amazing background as well, because just I don't know if I mean, it's, it's obviously the combination of like the, the the 3D embossing folder and the stencils there as well, but that kind of background almost gives the the, the butterfly a bit of motion as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and do you know how you can take it a bit further? Yeah, go on. I've got my clear sparkle pen here. Oh yes. Now watch this. If I want to, if I want to make his the butterfly's body yeah. a little bit deeper, look at this. I can pick up a little bit more colour. Look at this. I'm painting with the darker blue just using the clear sparkle pen as the paintbrush there. There we go. So if we just want a little bit of sparkle on the butterfly's oh, yes. body, there's one option. And then also, I'm going to clean off the edge there, and I'm just going to bring a little bit of sparkle just from the sun rays coming in here as well. So just inside the sun ray bits there as well, Ben. There we go. It does make such a difference. I mean, honestly, just adding a little bit of sparkle on there. And any, whether it's your clear sparkle pen, any of your sparkle pens would do the same job. Yeah. What you're trying to do, basically, what we're doing, Ben, is we're pretending that we're artists, right? So all the stuff that clever artists would do, we're kind of giving you the, um, the cheat pieces by giving you, like, the 3D folder and the stencils to work with it. All the stuff, like, if you were really, really advanced at, at a lot of this colouring malarkey, as it was, yeah. you'd be able to achieve a lot of these effects without needing the stencils, uh -huh. as it was. I don't know about you, but I definitely can't do that. No so chance. I like to have the uh, I like to have the cheap way Absolutely. to make it look awesome. There we That's go. That's fantastic. And then all I'm going to do is make make that up into the card, Ben. 
I um, absolutely love this. We've got a few questions coming in which we'll uh, answer as we head through the show. Any questions? And also, we want to know about um, what your favourite cards are. Um, Tammy on Facebook saying, uh, OK, Adam, great camera zoom. Lots of you loving the... <laughs> the uh, well done, Adam. There you go, your first mention of the year. Uh, Diane saying, loving this set. The Hummingbird is my favourite. Lots of people loving the Hummingbird. Um, I think, yes. Uh, the, Maybe the, the, I better bring up my Hummingbird demonstration do you think oh well maybe mm. that might be the next one to do i think without you know oh i don't know like i'm desperate to do that rose oh, I'm, well. I'm very excited about my rose ben very excited okay. about my rose will you, will you go for the rose next and then maybe the hummingbird i mean don't <laughs> let me tell but you're the boss i'll i'll just fire some suggestions your way and you can choose to ignore me or probably <laughs> ignore me right, i'll do the rose next because that's okay. my favorite <laughs> and then i'll do the ignore hummingbird me. unless people <laughs> have any other different opinion of, of that speak now or forever hold your peace um no no <laughs> <laughs> just as it is you know just give us it straight up there ben oh look i think my <sighs> stuff is quite here this I... is why i should be using my uh my, my whatchamacallit, my uh, all-purpose, so that I've got a little bit of manoeuvrability time. I've, listen, I've, re, I've pre-done all of the um, sentiments and whatnot, because you don't need to see me doing all of that stuff. You want to see me doing all the inky fun Absolutely. stuff, don't you? There we go. And then just a little bit. Oh, where does 3D glue gel live these days? Here we go, Ben. Look, I fe it feels like home already. I'm managing to find all my bits of gear. Getting into the groove, 25 minutes in. Someone did ask, um, Fiona was asking, what was that stencil spray that you used a little bit earlier on? Yes, so that was our stick and spray. Yes. So that it's this one here, just the stick and spray. Now, I know we can't ship these to the US, but I also know that HSN have them on their website if you want Fine. to have a little look. So there you go. You learn something new every day, Ben. Right, there we go. One card down. Hopefully, many different ones to go. So that is just basically showing you the very simple kind of how to get started with them, using them as your stencils and then with your inking through there. But like I said, now I've started you off easy. I'm going to build you up with some different techniques. Absolutely brilliant. And that, again, is the whole point, isn't it, with a collection like this, is that, you know, wherever you are on your crafting journey, you have got the ability to be able to create um, some amazing cards straight off the bat. Uh, you've got the stencils, you've got the embossing folders all working um, perfectly together. Remember, if you go for this full collection, it is a six-piece collection. Um, we've already seen that beautiful butterfly, um, which we've got here. So that is in the collection, your floral butterfly. But then also, just to quickly go through these again, what you're going to get in there, you're going to get this gorgeous, uh, gorgeous, beautiful lily. Again, with the 3D embossing folder, with those stencils as well to create some... <coughs> I mean, look at this, this rose, the lovely roses. Again, we're going to see that very, very shortly indeed. These kind of things that you can create very, very quickly, very easily. This is gorgeous as well. Lots of people have been chatting about the, uh, the hummingbird. Again, we will see a demo on that in just a little while. So don't worry if you love that, if that's your favorite. We've then also got the delicate dandelions. Again, so many different effects, so many different mediums that you can use on these to create beautiful cards. And then last but by no means least, you've got your precious poppies as well. So that is the six um, mini collections which make up the main collection if you like 44.99 or 58.27 lots of you going for the full collection uh, lots of you going for the individuals and don't forget that multi buy as well 16 pounds or 20 dollars if you want to go for uh, two today as well those sparkle pens as well definitely worth looking at I've only got one little board to show you here but we we do do them in, in a, uh, a, a range of colors for you this is the coastal cottage so again if you want to be able to um, add real beautiful sparkle to all of your projects like you saw just a few moments ago. These sparkle pens are absolutely amazing. So you're going to be getting in this collection your autumn, winter, your coastal cottage and your spring, summer as well. So this is the coastal cottage. Within that, you're getting that gorgeous sea spray. You've got your um, peach. You've got your... In this collection is your autumn winter um, so once again with this you have got uh, smoke quartz olive jade your harvest moon starry sky holly leaf and red berry uh, and then also in this collection 
is the uh, spring summer. So you've kind of got all the colours of the seasons there, really, haven't you? Uh, that one's pink, champagne, your uh, moonlight, your soft jade, blue topaz, emerald green, and your solar red as well. So 18 pens in total for 49.98 or 65.90. Again, saving uh, almost 25 pounds over 32 dollars on those today if you want to add those into your basket always very very popular uh, and again the kind of thing that you can use and have a lot of fun with if you go through your uh, 3d uh, embossing folders and stencil collection as well um also let's show you these aqua tints so much on the show good job i've got a big table over this side now um so again, uh, these are just absolutely beautiful. If you're wanting to add sparkle, if you're wanting to add a gorgeous color, these are amazing. A 12 pot collection that you're gonna get with um, this, again, look at the price, saving over 20 pounds, over $32, uh, 12 in total. So you're gonna get with this collection, your summertime, which contains your solar red, gorgeous emerald green and your blue topaz glitz and glamour comes with this as well this is uh, aquamarine your amethyst look at that pink garnet it's so so gorgeous you've then got your uh, vintage chic as well love this with the sage the fig and that gorgeous peony and then last but by no means least look at that if you're wanting something a little bit brighter to kick start your 2021 uh, you've got your moonstone gorgeous cosmos and your uh, your rose quartz as well look like little pots but actually you get a lot of bang for your buck with these because uh, as we've seen on previous shows they go a little goes a long way um, with your aqua tint so uh 31 pounds or 47 dollars for that full collection again worth bearing in mind if you've used those before no doubt you'll be coming back and uh, grabbing those once again today right uh, lots of messages still coming in uh, interested to see what your favorites are so far lots of love for the hummingbird as i say uh, lots of love for the roses too uh, christine on facebook saying i love all six and in block capitals i will be getting them all <laughs> uh, I think that's how you said it, Christine. All of my favourites. Um, so I tell you what, seeing it as it is the hummingbird and the roses, uh, and seeing as I suggested the hummingbirds, we're going to be doing the roses next. <laughs> yeah, he knows his place. I know. He knows, let, let's not, let's all be clear on that. He totally knows his place. <laughs> right. What I thought we'd do is start and have a little bit of a mix and match, okay? So I've got a couple of those Aquatint jars out yes. here. Now you could do the same technique with either the Aquatint or your sparkle pens. So if you just got one of those or you're just going for one a day, you can absolutely do that. Now, look what I've done. Again, I've just cut my piece of paper ready to five by seven. All the folders are five by seven, Ben. So you can work in different sizes, which Look, I've got, I've got my pointy finger and paintbrush out here. Oh. I'm going to be showing you a square one a little bit later with the dandelions. Um, but most of them, I think, work lovely in that five by seven feeling as it was, right? So all I'm going to do is start, and again, it's just the stamping card, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a wet to get me started, okay? So I find wet into wet is much easier to work, okay? Okay. And I'm going to start off with a tiny little bit of the, um, the palest blue. Now, here's a tip, okay? If you use three colours from within the same family uh -huh. that come from the same collection, they're all going to um, match in absolutely perfectly. Perfect. Now, can you see, I put a little bit there, a little bit goes a long way, right? Just, yeah, I said that. They look like small pots, but actually you use so little of it each and every you time, do. don't you? And if you, if you want to build up the colour, you yeah. can just add more and more. So there's the first one. Then I'm going to go from the blue into the pink shade. And of course, where I start to pick up a little bit of pink where the two mix will get that lovely shade of purple in the middle so oh, you can yeah. see how we've got that lovely purple kind of ombre coming in between the two so there's our lovely pink and then i'm going to go from the pink into the green shade as well so we get another one kind of coming down there in the green now if you want that color more intensive you're just going to give that a little bit of a dry uh -huh. and then i'll show you because i've got my heat gun here so i'm going to just start and dry that off a little bit and then show you how we can go a bit more intensive with the color Okay. Which is code for talk, boy. Talk. Am... Off you go. You're, you're up. You're up. Oh, no, I'm up. I'm there. Um, <laughs> Tracy says on Facebook, I can see my New Year's resolution is going out of the window with these embossing folders and stencils. 
These are a must-have. We'll, we'll chat more about New Year's resolutions a little bit later on, but it'll uh, be interesting to see what your crafting New Year's resolutions are and how many of you have already broken your resolution because uh, you, you're taking advantage of this deal. Um, and just back to the favourite cards, Betsy on Facebook saying, each one that I see dem uh, Sarah demonstrate will be my favourite. Doesn't that happen all the time? You kind of go, oh, that one was my favourite, and then we move on to the next demo, and then all of a sudden, no, actually, I like that one the best. It's definitely going to happen um, during this show. Uh, Rosalind on Facebook just saying, um, saving the video to use the technique and we must just mention Claire Adams on YouTube who says hi uh, just join the membership Yay! Um, I've got the year in craft and the ultimate pro for Christmas and I'm <gasps> loving it brilliant oh how fabulous to have some how oh, some new people right we'll warn you now everyone yeah we come with a health warning <laughs> we're, we're very highly addictive so uh, yes, once you're in, you're kind of in with both feet and we've got you, I'm just going to warn you, and it becomes a, a total addiction coming on here and chatting with everybody every day and learning loads of new stuff as well. Isn't that right, Ben? Absolutely it is. Um, so Claire, a very warm welcome. And as Sarah was saying, you, you've now made like hundreds, thousands of new friends who I'm sure will be welcoming you um, on all of the comments as well. We are like one big happy family most of the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we are though, aren't we? You know, and that's the great thing. You know, we're, we're all here sharing hints, tips, demonstrations, techniques. And the great thing, Claire, is that as you've seen there, you can uh, get in touch with us and we can mention your questions, mention your comments. That is what we are here for. Right, looks like you're ready to show something else over that side. Come on, I am indeed. So we've got that. It's not completely dry, but I've got that a good way dry. And did you notice I've tried to get some brush strokes into here, Ben? Oh, yeah. By putting my second layer on with a slightly drier brush so that we've got those brush strokes in. We've got those boxes now, on the show as well if you want to uh, look for those. Ah, well, if, you were, if you're not rushing like me and you're, li you're not live on TV, watch what you can do. You can give it a little bit longer, yep. but I'm going to do the four bleaching technique. So I'm just doing a couple of little splatters of water onto there. And then I'm going to come in with some paper towel and just lift out Ooh, yeah. a little bit of that colour. You can see that really well there, can't you? So you get that lovely kind of water splattered effect, as it was, on the background. And you can always... You can always add more. I was going to say, it, you can't take it away. Well, that's what we're doing. We're taking it away. So that's the point. You don't, you don't want to overdo it to start with. You want to get a bit of a feel in there, kind of to get you going. So there's my lovely background. So I'm going to use that now as a background to emboss our gorgeous roses. So let's get the roses out. For anyone who just joined us partway through the first demonstration, right? Where have you been, folks? Trust me. Yeah, where's your note? You, where, exactly. Note to self. Tomorrow you need to be here right at the beginning. Exactly okay? right. Um, Basically, in each packet, you get the embossing folder and two of the stencils. And the reason you've got two is it's so that we can create this real three-dimensional effect. So what I'm going to be doing for you is this card here. Wow. So we've created that lovely background. Yes. Now we're going to put a lot of the detail in with some of the um, with some of this. I'm, I've got giggles going on in my ear, Ben, yep. as uh, apparently Christine Mahoney <laughs> is, is having kittens on the uh, in the comments, desperate to buy, and the gremlins aren't letting her do it in our sight. <laughs> yeah, we've got the New Year gremlins pre preventing Christine and a few others of you trying to get the make collection. We're going as fast as we can. I can see the engineers running back and forth with their, their hammers and screwdrivers to get it all sorted. <laughs> they will be sorted very soon. If you're trying to get your hands on that full collection, uh, we are aware there are a few problems but bear with us uh, because that will be sorted very very soon I am sure uh, it's just because it's the new year you know we've, we've, we've all still a little bit in holiday mood maybe <laughs> Adam just said it's the millennium bug no we can't use that that's uh, tw uh, 21 yeah. years late 21 um, years ago yeah <laughs> Worth a good try, wasn't it? It was a try, exactly. It will be sorted. I'll let you know as soon as everything gets back, gets back to normal. But in the meantime, if you want to go for individuals, you can do. And the uh, two for 16 or $20 uh, deal for you as well. Right. Are you ready then? So yes. I'm just going to start and build up a little bit of ink now. So there's my embossed piece. Gorgeous. What you can't appreciate right now is the de mm. oh, actually you might be able to from this side is the detail that you've got in here. Yeah. So how all these buds and the rose petals actually look so three dimensional. You can you can see a little bit better from the back at this stage than what you can from the front. But wait till you start and see me putting a little bit of ink onto there, right? So I'm going to I'm going to lie it back down now, Adam. And then we're going to put a little ease eyes off, right? And then we're going to put a little bit of ink on. Like a right? well-oiled machine, you two. That was brilliant. Right, so I'm, at first,
first, all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of ink onto the trellis in the background, yeah. just to really make that stand out. Now, remember, we're going to start new some of our ink colours to get into the detail. Oh, I can feel this. Honestly, I wish I can't wait. You guys can get these home and have an actual touch of them, not just a, not just a, I'm having a feel of a touch, right? Let's go with a slightly darker one as well, so we can just bring a little bit more into there. Yes, now we're starting. Here we go. Get something. Here we go. Right. I'm going to do all the trimming at the edge by. And, and it, it also, for people who are quite new to it, there is a substantial difference, is there not, between just your standard embossing folders and your 3D embossing folders um, as well. You, you really will notice the difference. I think for those of you perhaps who've already got them, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if it's the first time you're getting 3D embossing folders, um, just wait until, like Sara says, you've got the ability to be able to, like, you know, um, touch them with, with, with your uh, with your own hands and, and just be able to appreciate uh, the level of emboss that you get with these and then the fact that you've got those stencils to work with as well um, is just going to be meaning that very quickly you're going to be recreating these demos coming up with your own ideas and creating gorgeous cards so here we go oh hang on a minute producer Johnny has just told me Christine you'll be pleased about this uh, we are back in business, is the words he's just said in my ear. Back in business. So there we go. Uh, the gremlins have been booted out of the building, uh, and you can now get your hands on this collection. Forty-four ninety-nine or fifty-eight twenty-seven. Go swiftly, though, is all I will say, because it is very, very busy, and there's been lots of people trying to buy that and haven't been able to get it. Uh, and now you can. So grab that um, right now. The full collection um, for that. Price. So, uh, first stencil going on now, yes, Sarah? Right, first stencil's going on, thank you, Ben. Right, so what I've done is now, I've got the stencil, so essentially what we've done is we've masked off the area now where we want to apply the ink. So now we can start and focus on just where we want the ink to come onto. So if I start, first of all, with the bits in the background, I like to get two colours, so I'm going to work with my smoked emerald and green topaz for in the detail in the middle here. So if I get a nice little applicator, and we'll start on, so you start, always start with the lightest one. It's just the same as when we do our, um, but I've, I've put the wrong, I've put the wrong stencil on Ben. I, oh, yeah. I wondered as I was putting it on, I was like, nope, I'm going to put, I'm going to go with a little bit of outside detail. I'm uh, going to go with the outside okay. detail from this one first. Got I'm yeah. going to do my leaves first and then my buds. This is why I shouldn't be talking and crafting Ben, just, just. <laughs> I'll, I'll I told you, it's the, break, it's the break that's doing it. I feel like I'm second guessing everything I'm saying today. Um, I keep, keep having to look at the screen for the, the details and the email address and stuff because it's been such a long break. That's what it is. You, by, by the second hour, Sarah, I will be flying, you and I. <laughs> Absolutely. It'll be perfect. We'll take this first hour as a rehearsal and by, uh, by two o'clock, um, <laughs> we'll be flying. <laughs> Producer Johnny just said, you've got to be careful what you say. You'll be working Christmas Eve and Christmas Day this year. You're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, if you can't come back in uh, in a useful state, then <laughs> that'll be you and no more holidays again. So did you have a good Christmas, by the way? I had a lovely Christmas, thank you. It was different to normal. Yeah. It was quiet, you know, but but it was wonderful. You know, I mean, for those of you that don't know, I've got my two two little young boys at home, and you know what it's like when you've got kids at home, Ben. Absolutely. It's just uh, it's just non-stop. So it's been a, it has been a lovely Christmas, most definitely. Yeah, plenty of time spent with the uh, the family. Uh, n almost nice to come back to work in a nice way, if you know what I mean. They're not you know. watching, are they, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still they got, are, you're they're still got be more days off. My my two don't go back to school until uh, well, one doesn't go back for about two weeks, and the, the Daisy doesn't go back until I think Wednesday. And uh, my my wife's got another day off, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the first first one back in. It's good to be back, though. It's good to be back. Look at this. Look at this. I know. I, I, I am trying. I'm really trying hard to talk to you, Ben, and I'm really struggling. So no, you're, you're just gonna have to keep. It's fine. You're gonna you're gonna have to talk to our lovely viewers instead, while I get while I keep doing a little bit with my inking on. All you. right. Well, I'll, I'll wait for the um, the nod. We've got, we've got loads of comments coming in, um, and, and this is great, isn't it? Nice to be back. It's nice to, to, to hear how you're all doing. Uh, let us know as well. Let us know about your um, your uh, your Christmases, what you've been up to New Year. Um, love to hear from you. Um, Kathy says, good morning, Sarah and Ben from Dublin, Ohio. I'm watching with my four-year-old granddaughter, June. Well, that's amazing. Hello, June. There you go. Uh, I think possibly the uh, 
the youngest, the youngest um, uh, Crafters Companion viewer, I think, on one of my shows. So that's great, June. Uh, Donna says, um, sorry, that background is cool. Looks like the beach. Yes, so the background that we're just seeing on this particular demo, amazing. Uh, and Regina on YouTube saying, uh, so glad you're back, CC. Really missed you. And uh, don't forget, of course, we're asking for your favourite, what your favourite cards are um, on the show, your favourite demos. Jane on Facebook saying, loving the poppies and the hummingbird. So I've ordered them both. So excited. Uh, also, I was given the foil press for Christmas, Ooh. so we'll be playing loads. Um, love from Jane, what a brilliant present. Yeah, do let us know, how are your Christmases? And if you've got any crafters companion goodies for Christmas, let us know what you got, let us know what you've been making, because um, that is brilliant. And Joe just saying, yay, I got the bundle. So there we go, good news, producer Johnny, good news. Um, it is now working. It's, I always worry a little bit when I, when I hear them going, oh, it is now working, and then you know people are going, oh, I can't buy you can buy now which is brilliant I will tell you we're so busy for this that 10% of the stock has already gone uh, 44.99 or 58.27 for that full collection less your 20% of course if you're a platinum member um, you can take that price down even further and I just love the fact as well people coming and saying oh yeah New Year's resolution was to uh, not spend as much money uh, this year on craft loads of you already broken that resolution but you're going to love this absolutely um, what you can be doing with this collection and of course you're going to get those um, two stencils and embossing folder uh, within each and you're going to get six as well so it's a really really cool buy and I suppose as well you could use these individually should you want to be able to do that lots of different ways uh, to be able to use this collection and again for me I just think it's kind of like ease of use you don't need to be at kind of level 10 do you to be using a collection like this Ooh, you can no, be a point. complete newbie crafter and be creating beautiful beautiful cards just like this well, I like the fact that they're going to they're going to um, advance with you as well, Ben. Yeah. So for those of you who've maybe been doing a little bit of work with embossing folders, and for those of you who've maybe tried stenciling in in a little way before, but never been able to really take it to the next level, this is going to help you to take that onto the next level. Give you the tools, but also like even just the demos I'm going to show you today as well, Ben. It's nice to be able to kind of learn and be able to do different techniques. Maybe that's your New Year's resolution you've wanted to do some new and different techniques in here well we've absolutely got it sorted for you yeah absolutely right um, and again everything that you need to um, to get started with this uh, love the fact that it's just so accessible if you're needing things like your uh, inks again uh, we've got those on the website uh, got a really cool deal as well on your um, essentials so you see Sarah they're using the um, uh, the door but we've got a brilliant collection of kind of everything that you need if you want to get uh, inking with daubers and brayers and all sorts in there because um, you will be needing those to use with the um, with the inks and I tell you what coming up a little bit later on we've got a uh, a Monday mega deal as well yeah forgot about that on Monday makers haven't we a little bit later on with um, Craig Craig will be here at uh, what time do we do that again oh I can't believe it. What, what what time do we do it is it four four o'clock UK time Ben that's it that's it make a note no Christmas holidays for Ben next year <laughs> wow <laughs> honestly it feels like I've not done this for about a month <laughs> <laughs> and as I said, it doesn't feel like I've been away. Christmas flew by, but it, it feels like it's been a long time. You can probably tell. Uh, <laughs> Mariah on Facebook saying, I've got the large guillotine for Christmas, which Ooh, is amazing. Now, do you know what? It's, I love hearing what everybody's got for Christmas. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and um, Elaine R48 on YouTube says, I received the craft room for Christmas. Oh, um, nice. It's wonderful. Still in the process of organising it and loving it. Yeah, probably still uh, opening it all up. You get so much in there, don't you? Yeah, please let us know what else you got. We're particularly uh, uh, nosy what you got for uh, Christmas. Um, get, send us pictures as well as, as to what you got. Now, the email address is studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Yay! Well done, Ben. It's only because it was on the screen, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, so send in pictures uh, of what you got for Christmas and what you've been making in the Christmas time as well. Wow, look at this. This is really coming together, Do you isn't know, it? that would be lovely. Wouldn't it be lovely, I was thinking, with a little bit of gilding wax on there as well? Ooh, yeah. You could go to town. I mean, you can literally build up from where you want. But I'll keep coming back to the fact that what you can't do is reach right through the screen now mm -hmm. and touch that. They're the sort of cards whereby when you give them to people, they will want to come and touch and, and have a feel. You know, like when you go into a shop and buy a really expensive yeah. card, card then and you know it's got that beautiful embossing on the front you can see it really well from the back there just how detailed it's going to be but that's what we're going to use onto the front of the card so all I'm doing is I've kept it nice and simple so we're going to mat and layer that onto the front of a nice piece of um mirror card uh -huh. and then we're going to we're going to build up our base card a lot of people asking about the card you've been using is there a specific type of card that works best right so i've used the stamping card i find this the packs of stamping card that we do it's just a really really nice weight card stock and it's called stamping card because it's brilliant it takes ink really really well by the way so that's why we kind of that's, that's why we do that from that way as it was there we go, with details on your screen now, if you want to grab that, um, the uh, A4 white stamping card, 60 sheets of that, 9.99 and 14.99. It's also on an any four for 30 pounds or $42 deal as well. Um, check the web for that, but yeah, again, Great to be able to stock up on all of this because you know you're going to be needing it as you head through the year, particularly when you get these back as well. Because like Sarah was saying, it's great to be able to see them on the screen, but once you get them home and you get using them, Honestly, you will be coming back to them time and time and time again. And again, with the designs that you've got in here, they're the kind of designs that can fit so many different occasions, uh, you know, right throughout the year. I mean, look at, look at this card, for example. I mean, it could be so many different things. Um, it, it's not a set that's just like a one trick pony. You're gonna be using it uh, right throughout the year. Um, we are uh, very, very busy for this collection. So grab it whilst you can. Do you know what I would, uh, do you know what I would like to know, Ben? Mm. Who got an ultimate pro for Christmas? Ooh, okay. And who has who watched? Because the uh, the the video was on. It was on uh, encore just a couple of days ago, and I wondered. That was when I've I've shown everyone how to do things like these stepper cards and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm interested to know who's got the ultimate pro and who's been trying all those different types of stepper cards and things like that over Christmas. Because I think you know it it just. It enhances your card making when you've got a couple of different shapes in your armory. Now look at that, isn't that really, I spent the time on doing the inking, which is the bit that I was really focused on for this card, but then I've just given it a different card base. So if I bring, here's the one that we did first of all, don't get me wrong, I love this card too, but look how fabulous it looks when you've got a different shaped card base to work it on to. Two different cards can give you two completely different looks, even though they're both working from a five by seven main image topper. Now, what did I say we were going to get ready and what, what was the next most popular one, Ben, that I need to get ready for the next demo? Hummingbird. Hummingbird, right. Give me a second to get cleaned out because we look like, it actually does look like a bomb's gone off on my table, doesn't it? Hey, nothing to do with me. <laughs> right, give me a you, second to is. get cleaned up then. I'm going to put my two cards on the back. The, what do you say? We're going to vote on these at the end and see which one was the favourite. Yep. So, so far we've had the, uh, the beautiful butterfly and we've had that gorgeous... Uh, rose as well. So if you want to start sending in, if you want to give a marks out of 10, you can, but you can, you can only pick one favourite, all right? And then at the end, we'll find out which is the uh, the ultimate favourite, and uh, that one will be crowned the winner of the show. Um, Hummingbird coming up for you next. Um, keep those messages coming in. As I said, any pictures as well, we'd love to see those uh, as to what you got for Christmas and, and what you've been making over the festive period as well. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Just to reiterate that, I'll just show you through with the cards that I've got over this side of the studio of um, what you're going to be getting within your six piece collection. Um, so, oh, by the way, yes, must just let you know that 20% of the stock has gone. We were, what, 10 minutes ago, 10%. Now at 20% of the stock, you can be one of the very first uh, to get your hands on this collection, don't forget. So it is the uh, 3D folders that work with those stencils to you know, give you beautiful images like this. Within this collection, you've got the gorgeous uh, Precious Poppies, and you've seen actually actually how easy it is to get working with these and already you're getting a bit of a taste as to all of the different things that you can use to be able to create these gorgeous images there's your delicate dandelions once again with that beautiful emboss like Sarah keeps saying and I'll echo that wait until you get these home wait until you be, you're able to kind of 
um, you know, sort of feel these for yourself. Um, they are amazing. This is that gorgeous hummingbird. Again, take a look at the emboss there. Uh, getting your inks out, using all of your um, elements at home as well. Maybe a bit of glitter paste on there. Um, you know, get your heat embossing involved, a bit of gilding wax. There's so many different things uh, that you can do. There's your lovely roses also included in this collection. You've then got your beautiful lilies as well. And then last but by no means least, this was the, um, the collection that we saw right at the start of the show, uh, your gorgeous floral butterfly. So that is the full collection, um, 44.99 or 58.27, brand new. You can be one of the very first to get your hands on this collection, uh, but go swiftly because a fifth of the stock has already gone. And uh, you will know uh, for a launch, we make sure that we've got a lot of stock available. So that is um, a lot gone and lots of you still continuing to buy. Now, mentioned a few moments ago about the uh, blending collection. We've got a really super collection here actually, kind of for all of your blending needs really. Um, so within this collection, um, I think you've pretty much got everything ticked off here because you've got that um, brayer tool there. So if you're wanting to be able to lay down uh, more ink, you know, for those bigger projects, uh, you've got that. You've also got uh, your um, round blending tools. Um, you've then got the uh, rectangular blending tool as well. And then you've got all of the refills for those two. So 10 refills of each. You've got a craft mat included in there. You've got your um, sponges. You've got your misters and you've got uh, your little tray there as well. So pretty much everything that you need uh, for all of your blending, for all of your inking. That is what you call a comprehensive um, collection. Uh, 30 pounds a day, the price on that's amazing. 35% that you're saving, uh, brilliant. Again, the kind of thing, if you've got birthdays coming up and you want to give little presents to people, you, you can kind of split that up, but there's so much in there. I think pretty much everything covered off. 30 pounds or $40, less your 20, that's uh, 24 pounds, isn't it? Or $32 um, for that full collection. Um, sorry, I touched on gilding waxes a little bit earlier on. I think we've got the full whack back in now because these um, sort of disappeared at the back end of last year. And we, I think we were down to, uh, to, to one, the one, thank you, Adam. Adam says you've got the full wax, not the full whack. Uh, yes, we've got all of them back in. So uh, 30 mil pots, don't forget, and we've got the full range for you. So 11.99 or 16.99, there's the King Gold. We've then got the uh, gorgeous Antique Gold. Uh, then we've got the uh, Renaissance Empire Gold. Sorry, yeah, there's lots of different golds to contend with here. Uh, this is the Renaissance Gold that you're going to see now. All 11 99 don't forget, or 16 99 uh, And then we have got the silver for you um, as well. 11 99 or 16 99 um, is the price on that. Uh, those finger daubers too. Now again, I wanted to say that these only came back in stock very recently, towards the back end of last year. The price on this is phenomenal. Uh, producer Johnny's just fallen off his chair. 20% saving, 19.50 or 26. So if you prefer to kind of um, get inking with those, those are available for you. And you get quite a few within the kit, actually. You get, uh, how many is it? is it? I want to say it's 40, isn't it? Yeah, it's 40. Plus you get the little tray um, to keep them in as well, which is rather handy. Um, so if you want to add those into your basket, 19.50 or 26 pounds today, or 26 dollars, I should say. Okay, um, keep those uh, questions coming in. Uh, lots of lovely comments as well as far as um, Christmas gifts are concerned. Uh, Susan on Facebook saying, receive loads of Spectrum Noir for Christmas, classic markers, aqua tints, sparkle pens, Illustrator, so many to have a plate. Well, you're gonna be busy, Susan, aren't you? Wow. Uh, and Crafty Vera on YouTube says, hi, Ben. Um, you've said the wrong thing mentioning Christmas gifts. The parcel I thought was a CC advent calendar uh, was a jigsaw. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Well, hopefully you're enjoying your, your jigsaw. Nothing wrong with a jigsaw, is there? Is there? Hey, you were doing jigsaws, weren't you? We've been doing loads of jigsaw puzzles over Christmas. So uh, do you know what we got, Ben, that I thought was really clever? So we got a jigsaw where one half of the jigsaw was cut into 100 quite big pieces and the other half was in 500 mini pieces. So it means Simon worked on the 500 piece while the kids worked on the 100 piece and then they joined together. They oh. one big one. Oh, that was really clever. That is quite cute, actually. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't let the kids do the difficult bit and then you actually did the easy bit? 
Yeah, yeah, that would have been lovely. That would have been lovely. Actually, do you know what? I just feel like I'm the jigsaw putterer. So I feel like all I do is get the jigsaws out of the box and spend ages turning the pieces over and putting the edge pieces here and the middle pieces yeah. there. It's like Lego. All I've done all year is get the Lego out. They sit with the instructions and I just put, I find the next 10 pieces, put them in a line. I'm the Lego finderer and yeah. the jigsaw piece finder. I don't actually get to get the enjoyment of putting the Lego bit together or the jigsaw together. Uh, I, I, my kids are sort of past Lego now. Um, so I was like, say thankful. I did quite enjoy it, but it got to a point where you'd just be there for, for days and then you would eventually put it together and there'd be a piece missing. And then guaranteed the next day you'd be walking around in bare feet and you'd stand on and that piece of Lego. Piece. Have you ever done that? That is painful. <laughs> that is painful. <laughs> Uh, let us get back to uh, this brand new launch. This is amazing. Um, six piece collection uh, launch today. Loads of you already grabbed it. Over 20% of the stock has gone. And we're asking um, what you want to see. Lots of you want to see the um, hummingbird. So we've seen the rose. Are we definitely doing the hummingbird next? Come on, I'll show you yes. hummingbird. And again, because I've seen that we've had a few more people join us live since we started the last demonstration. What's different about these folders is that they are 3D embossing folders yes. with the stencils to enhance them. So in each packet, and I'll just show you the hummingbird one here, you get the hummingbird embossing folder, which is going to give you this, and then you get two different layers of stencil that put different levels of detail. So that is, here's our embossing folder. And then we're going to bring in our two different layers of stencils to put more detail in as we're going. So I'm going to start off with just this one. They're all five by seven folders. So I've just cut myself a little piece of white cardstock as a five by seven to get us started, okay? And if I just put that into the middle, and what I tend to find is cut the cardstock a little bit bigger than what you need to start with because then we can trim it as we get a little bit further down. Now, because they're 3D folders, you're going to use your base plate then your embossing folder, and then we're going to go with our magnetic shim and the top plate there, and then just whiz that straight through the Gemini. And the reason I've got my big Gemini out today yeah. with my Gemini Junior plate so that everyone can see that whether it's the larger Gemini or the Gemini Junior, it's going to work in both. If you got the new Gemini MIDI for Christmas, then let me tell you, these would go straight through the MIDI with nothing else. So you don't even need it. You just literally straight through the MIDI and your folder's ready to go. Great. Now, when I lift this out, so this is, and again, this is where I just wish we had the touch, the ability to reach through the screen and touch, okay? So you can see there the level of detail that embossing sculpts into all of those bits of the, is it a lily that the hummingbird's on? Yes. Yeah, I thought it was. I'm, I'm not the best with me flowers, but I thought I recognised that one. So there's my hummingbird. I'm going to just take that guillotine, Ben, and I'm just going to trim it right to the edge of where the embossing is on here so that we essentially look like the embossing comes off the side uh -huh. of the um, off the side of the screen as it was or off the side of the image however you want to kind of think of it okay so that's my first bit we've got all of our embossing done now we feel like a professional kind of shop bought card as it was because we've got the texture into it then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just with a little bit of frosty jade and a nice clean um, sponge applicator and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of ink and I'm just going to ever so gently just start and apply a little bit of that around the outside. Okie dokie. Um, loads of messages still coming in. Um, Robin saying on Facebook, oddly, I didn't get any CC for Christmas. Oh. Going to have to drop bigger hints. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, yeah, you, I mean, you could get it for yourself now if you've got a bit of Christmas money, couldn't you? You know what I mean? Um, Karen on Facebook, um, I just got Spectrum Noir metallic markers and made a lovely butterfly card. Nice. Um, heat embossed the butterfly on acetate, wow, and coloured the back with markers. I even impressed myself, says Karen. Brilliant. Um, and lots of love for this new collection as well. Katie on Facebook just saying, love the 5x7 size. Uh, so glad you're doing more craft items that size. Yeah, a lot of love for the 5x7 size, actually. A lot of love for that. Yeah. Um, Lynn saying, place my order for the complete collection. Just had to have them. Well done, Lynn. Um, and uh, Vicky saying, I have the ultimate pro and a Gemini for Christmas. That's more like oh, it. Oh, yes. That's what we want to hear. Wow, that was a good Christmas uh, gift, oh, wasn't it? Brilliant. Wow. Right. Here's what I'm going to do, Ben, around the hummingbird, okay? Yeah. And, and do you know what? I'm going to get my little bit of... I'm going to clean up as I'm going so that we don't cross-contaminate colours where we don't want to. So I'm there with the wet wipe and then also 
the air, the dry wipe as well, so that we're ready to go with each one. Now, starting with that hummingbird, I'm going to start with a little bit of lemon tonic. We're going to create some new colours here, okay? So again, I'm going to go to have a look, nice, clear one on here. Uh -huh. Little bit of the lemon tonic. So the lemon tonic's the lightest, okay? So I'm going to just apply the lemon tonic all over the bird to start with. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix the yellow uh -huh. into a little bit of blue to create our own shade of green. Wow. Okay. And of course you've got that, you've got the detail and the dimension of the emboss, but then you've also got the detail of the stencil there to be able to pick up a little bit more. So here we go, there's that lemon. Now, because I just want to apply a little bit of ink, I'm going to use those little daubers, okay? Uh -huh. So I'm just going to bring in one of these little daubers, and they're called finger daubers because they fit perfectly over your finger like this, right? Perfect. So I'm going to just bring in a little bit of the Oasis now. Got one for each colour almost as well, haven't you, with that set? Well, well, that's it. So can you see, I'm just starting and I'm dragging the colour down. Now, what you need to be really careful is, okay, these finger daubers, so we launch them when we launch the pigment inks right uh -huh. so what you'd want to do is make sure you don't cross contaminate your pigment ink fin finger daubers with your water reactive ones okay okay if you're wanting to do like, like get get yourself a new set and keep them just for your water reactives okay so i can put that little bit on there and then if we want to go back in with the yellow we can just really intensify now to create that kind of new Ooh, shade of yeah. green can you see you how see it just that really brought through, it out yes. And then I'm going to do the same little bit in just around the top of the bird's head. And then again, just using the yellow to really intensify it again. And you can just do this however you want, just building it up from there. All these inks are on the website as well, by the way, because a few people have been asking about the inks. And then if you're into your, um, your inks, we've got a show dedicated to that, haven't we? Coming up a little bit later on in the week. Um, Colour Me Happy on Friday, and then we've got a, ma a, ma a master, master class, I'm in all Devonshire then for a second, uh, master class coming up uh, next Monday on that as well. So uh, do have a look ahead. You can check, uh, by the way, all the shows that we've got coming up uh, by going to our website. There's a full listing right there. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Does it, doesn't it look fabulous? Yeah. This is why I feel like everyone was kind of waiting for the hummingbird. Uh -huh. uh, that's just layer one, Ben. That's just layer one. We're now going to add on and put in even more detail with layer two. And this is when it pays, when you've got the whole collection of the ink pads, you see. Yeah. What you can then start and do is, as we put this on here, we're going to use the different colours in the same ink pad family to have everything. So we're going to come in with the next deeper shade of like the... Um, the parakeet, the parakeet, for example, is the next deepest shade on there. So whereas we used Oasis, I'm going to come on with parakeet now. And so you would come on with your next, the, your finger dauber again. And again, I'm just now applying a little bit of that darker shade of blue over the top there. But just, I'm not taking it all the way down. I'm just like giving it the hint of as it was to give us more dimension. I'm Do you know what it is um, as well with these comments? Somebody mentioned it earlier on. It's almost as, as soon as you move from one demo to the next demo, that demo then becomes the favourite. So there was lots of love for the, the rose and the butterfly initially. And now there's so many people coming and saying how much they love this hummingbird. Don't forget if you've got, oh, wow. If yeah, you've got to come on. You can go look at that. And I've only done the bird. That's we have to do the rest of it. Amazing. But do you see how, how like, yeah. nice and relaxing it is? Because it's, it's the excuse to play with all of these different, to get all your inks out, to get messy, but there's a structure to it. I don't know about you, but I really struggle with just getting the blank canvas out and, and just going at it with the inks. I like to have a little bit of structure to what I'm doing. That's what this gives you. It gives you that structure and that kind of purpose as it was. Right, I'm going back in. So I'm going to cover up now and we're going to start and work on the lily bend. Okay, um, let's read a few more of these messages uh, which are coming through. Uh, uh, Marion on Facebook, love this, who says, My favourite is the hummingbird, but I had to order the collection because I couldn't just choose two. And, and a fa I, mean, I didn't ask for this, but this is really interesting. Did you know, says Marion, the dandelion seeds, which we call clocks in the UK, is called, no, I'm not going to pronounce this right, Achenes, which is a Oh, it's called what? A-C-H-E-N-E-S. Oh, that's new to me, that. I didn't know that. Is that how you pronounce it? Achenes? That's how I'm saying it. It's probably wrong. Anyway, it's called Achenes, or it, yes, uh, which is a fine hair-like material, and it is classed as a single-seeded fruit. We get 10 flowers per dandelion, and each plant produces 15,000 seeds per flower. Wow. Wow. Well, 
You learn something new every you day, don't you? You certainly do. I tell you what. Wow. Uh, Hadassah on YouTube saying, for Christmas slash my birthday, I received the Peacock Collection uh, from a friend. I just love the colours in the Peacock Collection. Uh, and Lisa on YouTube, my husband got me the MIDI for Christmas and I Ooh. had won the signed advent calendar, which was fun to open every day. Plus, I got the apron. Thank you. We do, ah, we do aprons. So, right, no. Do you know, did you not know about this, Ben? No. So, for, I thought it would be lovely for all of our Platinum customers mm -hmm. to send them all a gift. So I had all of our Platinum customers an apron made. How wonderful, you might think. How wonderful. Except that all of these shipping companies around the world have decided that they can't get their act together and get everything shipped at the right time. Ah. So actually, all everybody in America, the American shipment arrived in America. The, uh, the shipment in the UK, we are still waiting for it to arrive. So ah. all of you UK platinum people who think I've forgotten about you and not bought you a lovely Christmas present this year, let me assure you that that is not the case. Uh, and to watch out for the postman coming at some point, hopefully really soon. We will email you to let you know when he's on his way with this. Well, that's kind of a nice little late Christmas present then, isn't it, really? Um, so, so that, well, that's good. Um, also worth noting, talking about delays, if you're going for this main collection, will be a slight delay in dispatching this to you as well, for the same reasons, really, that Sarah's just giving. There's lots going on in the world right now, isn't there? Uh, so one of those, frustrating, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. There's but lots it's, of it's delays with at the ports, um, with everything that's going on. So I'm uh, kind of matters which are out of our hands a little bit really so we apologize for that but I, I tell you what you are going to be genuinely loving what you get uh, when it does arrive on your uh, doorstep and if you go for this today and if you're one of our platinum members and you haven't received your apron as well wow you've got two amazing things to look forward to you can pop your uh, apron on uh, get going with your uh, your 3d folders and your stencils and it will be like a like a second christmas like all your christmases have come at once so there we are so are you on to the second stencil now I'm, I keep mixing between the two, Ben. Oh, do you? I keep mixing between the two. So I've now dropped my second stencil in to put a little bit more detail, but I'm not going with the whole amount. I'm just putting little bits of detail in from this one. And then you can see what I thought we'd do is, oh, and let's get a little bit into here. And I thought we'd just see how each of these layers is kind of looking as we're going, right? Here we go. So if I lift this up, yeah. Now, oh, see, now I've missed this one here. But isn't that depth and dimension looking brilliant in there, Ben? Absolutely. I mean, I say that, that you know, I'm, I feel like I'm blowing my own trumpet here, but yes. No, but it is. It, it really is. And like you said, it's just um, organised, isn't it? The whole organisation of using a stencil and, and being able to go back in should you want to add a little bit more, should you want to be able to blend a little bit more, you've got the ability to be able to, um, to do that. Notice you've just got a bit of ink on your stencils and stuff as well. They're quite easy to, to clean and, and, and keep nice and neat, are they? Uh, yes, so what I'll do is at the end of the show, uh, I'll just go and I'll pop them all with a little bit of washing up liquid in the sink and just give them all a nice clean round like that. That's the easiest way to do them all, Ben. Brilliant. There we go, because uh, Therese was asking on Facebook, so that is your answer um, on that one. Lots of lovely comments still coming in. Uh, Tansy Pansy on YouTube saying, husband gave me a printout of his bank statement. I was like, what the? He said, read it. Highlighted was for Kate to be spent at Crafter's Companion only. Aww. Oh, bless. Um, I think I like him. He's a keeper. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep that one. Uh, and June saying, my family thinks I have too much crafty stuff, uh, so I bought myself the year of craft for Christmas. That is brilliant. Well done. Absolutely. Wait. I couldn't agree more with the strategy. Yeah, way to show him, June. That's the way to go. Uh, and Julie on YouTube saying, it's my birthday today. So oh, happy birthday. Set. Happy birthday, Julie. Nice birthday gift to yourself. That's amazing. That's the way to do it, isn't it? Someone's not going to get it for you. Uh, take advantage uh, and grab it yourself. This is really coming together beautifully. Just mesmerised by this demo. I know uh, you've gone a little bit quiet over there whilst you're oh, doing I've, your inky. I've gone more than a little bit it's quiet, Ben, haven't I? amazing to watch you uh, to work with this. But like you said, the whole point is, again, with sort of stenciling, it's a really, really relaxing thing to do, isn't it? Something that you can just really sort of lose yourself with, I guess. Almost a bit like colouring, isn't it? I, I definitely, definitely do keep, like, as you say, losing 
losing myself in it. Yeah. And what I love is how each one, I mean, look at that, how each one of these bits looks totally different. We've achieved that three dimension, but with two stencils. And then when you come and touch it, you get it all the more. I mean, that hummingbird's just, that he is definitely my favorite. He might be a she, the hummingbird is definitely my kind of favorite thing to kind of play with as, as it was. Where's this gone? I'm gonna add a little bit more frosty jade around. Oh, is that not frosty jade now? No, it's not, it's green top. Good job, I checked that, isn't it? So, right, let's have a little look. It's a good job, I, it's a good job I'm, I just knew what it was, just looking at that, let's have a look. I was just gonna bring in a little bit more around here. There we go, that'll do. I've, I've subtilized it down, Ben. Subtilized it. Subtilized it, it down. Uh, just bring in a bit into there, yeah. I always like to have a little bit of, uh, just a, a bit of generic ink, so you do, I take anything away that's the stark white. Yeah. Then look, that hummingbird's nose really doing me nuts, so watch what you can do. Is what? Right. <laughs> It's absolutely doing me no, because it's not right. Look, I'm going to put a little bit of red down. Right. And I'm going to pick up the red with the sparkle pen. Uh -huh. And I'm going to paint in his nose red, because it should be, shouldn't it? There uh, you go. Now he's got a proper red nose. They, they are ready orange, are they? There we go, see. Are hummingbirds the ones that can fly backwards as well? Uh, yes, I think they are. Yeah. Did I make that so, up? So, I like that. There we go. Right. Oh, and should we do his little, uh, should we do his eye in the red as well there? Right. There we go. Right, so there's our hummingbird. And all I'm going to do, again, is just, oh, should we have a little bit more sparkle on here, actually? I'm quite liking the thought of putting the middle of this with a bit of sparkle on there, too. There we go. So I'm going to put this, and then I'm just going to pull my whole card together onto a nice bit. I've just got a little bit of um, little bit of ink there. I'm just going to add a little, little bit more, um, little, what am I saying? I've got a little bit of glitter card. Got you. So I'm going to clear up and I'm going to put this onto the glitter card and make the card come together. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Rosalind saying, so much easier to use the finger daubers to direct the ink in uh, smaller areas. Those finger daubers, by the way, are on the show. We've also got that um, collection with, I mean, literally everything that you would need as far as um, inking is concerned. But the finger daubers, uh, bottom of your screen there. So you get 40 of those and then they come in a little, um, like a carry, not a carry case, but what do you call it? Like a storage storage, storage ben. big yep. word uh storage um 1950 or 26 uh dollars today um and, and a message from uh, marion on facebook who says yes ben you got the pronunciation right that's talking about the dandelions the achinus uh i thought you would like some information uh marion says sarah i'm a fellow geordie thanks for these stencils along with the 3d folders uh, so there you go. Lots of questions about stencils as well. Um, a few people, including um, Jean, saying how you, I know you've already touched on this, but for people who are just joining, how do you keep the stencils in one place when you're using them? How, how do you do that? Right, so if you notice what I've been doing is, I've been using a little bit of a repositionable spray. So this is the one I've been using, our stick and spray that we do. Yeah. A little bit of repositionable spray just to hold it in place. Um, but it's really important that you do use repositionable because you don't want a permanent one. Don't use the red can by accident and end up putting the permanent one down there. So there we go. So that goes on the front. And I've just kept this card nice and simple. I actually, I just had that much fun playing with the hummingbird. I just ran out of steam by the end of the card. So I just think that, to be honest, I think that's fine because that is what people are going to look at though. That is the bit that looks really impressive. And we haven't used a green ink pad on that at all. That is all being created yeah. in our own colour. Same round here, just mixing those two colours to get that love, like the lights bouncing off the, uh, bouncing off the, off, off the lily. And you can only achieve that when you have that mix of stencils with the M. Um, with the 3D folders, which is something completely different. Now, is there anything, is there anybody got any requests outside or can I pick my own next? Uh, well, <laughs> we've, we have talked a lot about dandelions, but it, it's, it's yeah. entirely up to you. If you wanna, if you wanna pick your own next, you can, you can do that. Or um, I would say potentially dandelions. There's a lot of love, let me just tell you, for that last demo, Wonder on YouTube saying, 
uh, the hummingbird, this is to quote you, is absolutely off the chart. Off the chart, off the stunning, chart. Stunning, just stunning. And Susan on Facebook says, OMG, that hummingbird and Lily might just be a resolution breaker. There's another one. Another one. You've broken your resolution. Well, listen, four days in isn't too bad, is it? You know, what are we an hour I think that's down? a really good <laughs> achievement, Ben. I'm probably going to go and have a chocolate biscuit after this show. And, and so they, I've lasted four days with my New Year's resolution. So we're all good. We're with, all was that your resolution? Was it chocolate biscuits? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Um, and I've just <laughs> just had just had one come in here which says top son alert from uh, Kerry on YouTube. My son bought a year of craft for both my daughter and I uh, as she's moving away so we can craft together. Oh, um, on that Messenger. is the nicest. Oh. I love that. Yep. Oh. Oh, sorry, Wait, sorry. I've just walked just walked off. <laughs> She's having a bit of a stroll. Listen, while Sarah's having a bit of a wander, um, let me tell you what we've got for you. So the uh, collection, six piece collection, 44.99 or 58.27, one third of the stock has gone. I'll quickly rattle through these again, just to show you um, the images that you'll get. Obviously you've got more demos coming up with Sarah, uh, but these are what you're gonna get. Remember within each one, you get the 3D embossing folder and the two stencils. Uh, so this here is your beautiful floral butterfly. We saw that one right at the top of the show. You've then got your gorgeous, beautiful lily. So that is set number two. Once again, don't forget it's two stencils and a 3D embossing folder within each collection. Then we've got those gorgeous roses, which are an absolute firm favorite so far. I think perhaps only uh, beaten by the demo that you just saw, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, hummingbird. Take a look at that individually that is proving the most popular and I think with the comments coming in uh, that has got to be the most popular so far followed by that gorgeous rose you've then also got in this collection I think the one which we're going to look at next your delicate dandelions again take a look at that absolutely gorgeous and as Sarah keeps saying wait till you get this back wait till you've got the ability to feel like the depth and dimension so tactile these cards as well that's a good word um, and then I was very impressed with myself with that one uh, thank you and uh, we've then got the precious poppies as well so those are the six designs that you're going to get remember a um, 3d embossing folder and two stencils with each uh, giving you that collection 44.99 or 58.27 is the deal on that less your 20 percent of course if you are a um, platinum member 35.99 or $46.62. Um, just to touch on the sparkle pens as well, which I know there's been a lot of interest in as well. Again, the kind of things that you can incorporate uh, into um, your projects with your embossing folders and your stencils as well. So this collection is your coastal cottage. So that's what you're seeing there. All these gorgeous colors. Look at that gorgeous sea spray and peach tree. You've got the linen and your magnolia and then your cornflower blue and the pistachio absolutely gorgeous if you're wanting to add a bit of sparkle to your projects then these are the way to go you've then got within this um, collection your spring summer so that's pink champagne and moonlight your soft jade and your solar red your emerald green and your blue topaz and then to kind of go right across the seasons you've then got your autumn winter as well uh, that one is that gorgeous red berry you've got your harvest moon um, olive jade holly leaf your starry sky and the gorgeous smoke quartz as well. So all 18 of those for 49.98 or 65.90. Um, if you want to go for those today, saving almost 25 pounds or 32.95. Yeah, it kind of works out that you will buy two and you get one free. Uh, great time to grab those. And again, the kind of thing that you'll come back to time and time again. And then just to remind you, of the, uh, the aqua tints as well. Again, saw these on an earlier demo. I want to say it was the second, might have been the third demo, uh, but great. You know, if you wanted to get more coverage with these as well, these are absolutely perfect. 30 mil pots, but a little goes a very, very long way indeed. 12 pots you're going to get in total. Uh, your perfect pastels, your uh, moonstone, your cosmos, and your rose quartz. You've then also got in this collection your vintage chic, which is sage, fig, and peony. Love this one here, your glitz and glamour. Take a look at the beautiful colours there. That aquamarine is amazing. Uh, amethyst and pink garnet also in that collection. And then you've got your summertime, which is solar red, emerald green, and that gorgeous blue topaz as well. That's a great buy too. £31 or $47 today, saving over £20, almost 
dollars. Uh, again, less 20% more if you're a Platinum member. Let's have a look at some pictures coming in then, because uh, lots of you sending in pictures to uh, our email. Uh, Mariah has been using her year of craft. Been very, very busy indeed. Loving this, Mariah. Look at those, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Christmas embossing cards and Christmas gift card holders as well. So super busy over the course of the uh, the last few weeks. Wish I'd been as busy. I tell you what, I, I feel like I've done nothing. When I'm seeing all these great great projects that you've been tackling, I've literally done nothing the last uh, couple of weeks. And Michelle has been getting busy with the uh, <coughs> inks, getting busy with the uh, the blending as well. These are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Michelle! The, oh, she's done a bit with the shaving the form there yes. on the bottom corner. Oh, there's a bit more with the shaving form as well. Oh, no, look at that. Oh, loving it, Michelle. Absolutely loving it. Oh, she's got another one as well. Have a look at this, Ben. Mm. Now, I like that sentiment. That's one of my favourite stamps that we do, that one. You got Love this. that. Love that. It's very modern as well. A bit of a, a modern take on that. Love that. Um, thank you, Michelle, for sending all those in. Uh, amazing. Um, don't forget, uh, we've got a, oh, only got about half an hour to go unbelievably let us know what your favorite demos have been so far i think at the minute it's between the hummingbird and the rose and we will crown our overall come winner on i'll get them back i'll the get them back and show the you all right yeah let's have a quick recap so you can choose if you have just joined us we want you to nominate your favorite demo so far so sarah has made uh, three cards in the last hour and 25 minutes uh and here they are and why are we picking a favorite ben say again why are we picking a favorite because uh, each show we are uh, picking a favourite and then at the end of the week what we're going to do is we're going to put them up behind here so then after each show we can uh, look at all of the different cards and on Second Chance Sunday we can re-feature the cards which have been our favourite. Well I tell you what, I think you should just go and put all of my cards over <laughs> on there because you know, start the Monday, uh, if I don't win, if I don't win now, go on get the, car get the cards up there Ben. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm putting them all up now am I? Yeah, yeah, just put them up in the background. Yeah, I mean, people aren't going to be able to choose, are they not? You, you get on making a nice display, Ben. You get on making a nice display. Right, uh, we're going to use the dandelion head one, or whatever that special name was for it. Achenus. A what? Achenus. An Achenus. Yes. An Achenus, right. But here's the thing, okay? I've already done the texture paste bit because you need to leave the texture paste to set, right? And I needed to use my stencil. So, what you've, can you see? I've got this here. So what we've done is, or what I've done already, is pop this down, right? And then you just put the texture paste on your palette knife, scrape it through, then you need to peel it off and leave that to set. So what I've done is, I've done it so it's had plenty of time to set with the dandelions down the bottom. Now with this one, this is a slightly bit different because basically you get two stencils. So it, it is, they still do layer up beautifully, but they don't layer up to give different layers of each other. So can you see, if you look at the packaging here, you've got the 3D embossing folder, uh -huh. one stencil that does this bit down here, another stencil that does these pieces around here. So they, they work in a completely, well, it's the same way we have, but they're not layering up within one. They're just giving you the background. So I've done it to create that in the background, and then I've just had some more flying off up here in this background up there as well. Can you see? So you're just going to build up a little bit more up there too. So that is how I've done, created the background with those bits in. Then what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm going to use one of the sparkle pens that we've got. Now what I've done is I've opened a brand new one out the packaging so that if you're brand new to this, I can show you how you prime your pen for the first time. So can you see, I've given it a good shake. Uh -huh. Then we're going to take off that little ring there and then we're going to put it back together, squeeze it all the way, right? And then again, another nice shake, and what you'll see is they've got, they've got like little ball bearings, and then it says push on here. So if we give that just a little push, you can see the ink starting to move down the barrel. Oh, yes. And you can see it actually coming down the tip here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put an intensive amount oh, wow. around the middles here, uh -huh. and then come in with a little, with a nice wet paintbrush, and just kind of spread that out as it was. All right, so we've started off with a little bit of ink, and then I'm going to be moving that all the way around here. Then where I want it more intensive, I'm just putting more ink down and then just blending it all out. So I'm just going to create myself a nice kind of inked coloured background. But what you'll find is the more you dilute it, the more you're going to lose the sparkle. Mm -hmm. So be very conscious of only diluting it to the level that you kind of want to, because you don't want to lose too much of that sparkle. But I also, I want a nice kind of wash all over the background then. And I'm just going to do a little bit of, little bit of colouring, then I'm going to just dry it a little bit with my um, 
heat gun and then I'm going to start going a little bit more with the um, with the colour just to just to keep building that up as it was. Fantastic. Um, Joan Louise on YouTube saying, I guess my New Year's resolution is now gone with Sarah's last card. I feel like we're helping everybody break their New Year's resolutions on this show, which... Yeah, I, I, do you know what? I'm not sad about that. No? I'm not sad about that. I feel like the lady in our canteen this morning who came in determined to talk me out of my New Year's diet. Yeah. She's like, no, no, Sarah, I need to make you some nice breakfast. I was like, no, we need to not have bacon sandwiches for breakfast, Christine. We need to have nice, healthy things for breakfast. She's like, oh, I don't think so. So, uh, yes. So, I, I, are we? Oh, Ben, we're enablers. That's what it is. We're isn't enablers. It? Enablers. Um, well, I mean, my New Year's resolution is still going. I've, I've taken up um, uh, to do a lot more running, um, which you'll be pleased to hear. I am pleased to hear. Do you want to go on tonight, Ben? Me. <laughs> I've resolved to run 100 miles in January. I know. I uh, do you know. I've done 13.2 so far, so maybe, maybe we could, not tonight, maybe we can have a run tomorrow or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. look at him straight out. Any excuse? What was wrong with tonight, Ben? Seize the day. What is wrong with today? It's cold and dark. <laughs> and probably rainy as well. He's, look at him straight up there with his excuses. I've got my new trainers as well, so I, if we go, you know, if we go running, I've got to make sure that, that it's not too wet out there because I don't want to get them muddy. Oh, uh, uh, well, that'd be no good. I went running in the snow on Saturday. Did you? I did. I went running in the snow, Ben. Wow. That is what they call commitment. That, I mean, that, is, that is commitment. Yeah. Well, how much snow did you have? How much snow did we have? Enough to build a snowman. <laughs> well, you, you went running and built a snowman at the same time, and that I, is impressive. No, I went running, came home, and then the kids wanted to build a snowman. Wow. So, uh, yeah. How far did you run in the snow? Wait, say that again. How far did you run in the snow? How did I run? I only did 5k. Oh. Do you know what it was? I put two layers of clothes on, because mm -hmm. I thought it would be cold. Yeah. It actually wasn't that cold. So then I got really hot, and then I was fed up. So then I, I was I was going to do 10k <laughs> and I decided just to come home instead. So I just did five. You know, because Ben comes running with me round our our village. I do. So you know, there's the there's the little loop and then there's the bigger loop. Yeah. I set off to do the bigger loop and then came home after the little loop. The thing is, when you go running with Sarah, and I, I do enjoy my runs with Sarah most of the time. Um, <laughs> but what what it is is that I find with Sarah is that she'll set out and say, "Well, we'll run." X amount of distance, and so you sort of timing it. You know, you can see on your watch and stuff. I've got one of those clever watches, and you go, "Oh yeah, come here. Oh, that's good. We're coming towards the end of the run now." And you go, "Let's do another loop, or let's just go down here and let's just go around this little loop." And like, for goodness' sake! And before you know it, you've done double the distance that you actually set out to do. Uh, what can I say, Ben? I'm a good influence on you. <laughs> I'm a good influence on you. Well, I tell you what, if I do come running with you a lot during January, I'll get my 100 mile target smashed in about a week. You absolutely <laughs> the will. The distances you run, I tell you what. <laughs> oh dear. Right, um, so I've created like a nice kind of coloury, inky, messy background with a little bit of, can you see I've just been building up that colour as we've been going on, right? Yeah. And I've been adding, adding a little bit more where I wanted to be a bit more intensive. And then what I'm going to do is the age-old splatter technique. So I'm going to put a couple of splatters of water in there just so that we can get a little bit more of that ink lifted out to give it a little bit more dimension again. So that's just a background that we've done mm. with, the, um, with the texture paste. So I haven't even used the embossing folder here. I've literally just used the, uh, just used the stencil. Such a cool technique. Right. I'm never bored by seeing that splatter oh, technique. I love it. I love right. it. And then do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a little bit further again. I'm going to get a baby wipe out and I'm just going to do a little bit of like um, blobbing around here. Oh, okay. Just to give it a little bit more texture again as well. Just yeah. lifts out a little bit of the colour, just eases off some of the edges. So you get that lovely kind of, that lovely background. Now, if I can find some, um, where do we keep gilden wax in this place, this new place now? I got some over I here, have, unopened. I used to have everything everywhere. Can I pinch some of yours? Which one do you want? Uh, I think a bit of silver might look nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to have a little bit of silver. But what I'll do is I'm going to pop that to one side, right? Oh, do you know, I remembered where we kept stuff, Ben. Apparently there's loads of stuff in all these drawers, here. Oh, 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 we've got, got everything. No, not gilding wax, though. Oh, you got some so, now. Uh, but we've got everything. We've got, we've got more glue than you could shake. A, 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 <laughs> let's not answer that, right? They can shake something at. And then underneath here, we've got Geminis. Okay. And then underneath here, we've got sewing machines. You do know I've put you so, some golden uh, wax over there now, we've don't got you? have got also, but I've got your golden yeah. wax now. Right, I'm going to pop that to one side because I want it to dry a little bit more. So I'm absolutely loving... Oh, let's go for it. I'm going to dry it a little bit more, Ben, and then I'm going to add that golden wax on because I think it'll look absolutely brilliant. All right, well, whilst you're drying, um, 
lots of comments coming in about the cards because we're asking for your favourite because remember we're going to crown the winner and even though Sarah wants all three of her cards at the back here no we're only putting one up uh, the collection stunning says Cindy love the roses and the hummingbird but the dandelion looks interesting uh, hung, uh, they said hungerbird oh that is hummingbird is my favourite so far says Betsy uh, Hadassah on YouTube can't pick a favourite out of the demos but I really love that hummingbird um, and Sharon on YouTube, my favourite is the Hummingbird, I have to say, of all the cards, uh, but all the cards are winners. Love them all. Um, mm, interesting. I think it probably is just the, uh, the Hummingbird in the lead currently, followed Ooh. by the Rose, and then the Dandelions coming up on the rails. They might be indeed, especially when they've got a bit of this gilding wax in there mm, yeah. as well. So there you go. It did just need that little bit of gilding wax around it. You kind of have Dandelion clock heads without a bit of gilding wax, can you not? So... But I'm loving that. The sparkle pen has been the perfect medium for that mm. background there. Right. Very Gosh. happy with that. Right. So that is the traditional, that is the non-traditional way to use these as just a stencil with that lovely kind of feel with the texture paste. What I'm going to do now is I've just cut a square. I wanted to show you, I mentioned it earlier in the show, Ben, that you didn't have to use these on a five by seven card. Yeah. So there I've created a, I think this is about a seven inch background here. And then I'm going to, I've just cut a, a smaller square. And I'm going to bring my smaller square and I'm going to get just this little bit of the embossing folder over here. So I'm going to emboss this, then we're going to start and do some inky techniques on the background here as well. Okie dokie. Uh, Love the dandelion says Marilyn on uh, YouTube and uh, Lynn. I've broken my resolution by ordering this collection. Oh well, says Lynn. Um, that's, a, that's at least, I would say, seven or eight of you who've, uh, who've broken your New Year's resolution. You got four days in, didn't you? So that, that's the main thing. At least you, you, know, you, you partly, partly got there. You're getting good stuff anyway. So what a silly resolution to make that you weren't going to buy crafty stuff. You knew you were going to break it. You yeah, knew that, you were gonna that break wasn't it. ridiculous. At least set something, at least set a New Year's target that's achievable. Exactly right. You know, you yeah. don't want to set the impossible, do you? You set yourself thing. up to fail from the beginning, aren't you? Exactly right. So, right. Here we go. Right, I'm just using another one of those sparkle pens. Top tip, use the ones from within the same colour family, okay? Yep. So, whereas we used the blue, which was the moonstone. I think it was the moonstone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, you, this is the, um, sorry, the aquamarine, and this is now the amethyst, okay. right? Okay. So, can you see that? So, the more water I applied, the more diluted that colour became, uh -huh. right? So, I've got it quite diluted there to the bottom. And then all I'm going to do is just dry this off a little bit. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit more intensive colour on, on, on like a next level there. So, just showing you that you can either do it before or after. So, the other one, the last background, I did the colouring before we started. This one, I've done the colouring after we've done the embossing. Got so you've got the choice there, Ben, and it just shows you the kind of difference as it was. So now I'm just going to pick it up and add a little bit more, little bit more dimension into there. So that's from the Glitz and Glamour collection where you get your aquamarine, your amethyst and your pink garnet. Um, but don't forget, yes, details of your, your collection at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, 49.98 or 65.90 today. Lots of savings to be had. Uh, which is good uh, and with those pens by the way buy two you get the uh, third one absolutely free so you've got your uh, spring summer autumn winter and your uh, coastal cottage uh, included in that collection so that's a little bit of a different kind of look on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to dry that again and then take our um, our inks over the top of this using the, um, uh, the stencils make sense Absolutely. I'll tell you what, not that I ever doubted you for a second, but you certainly have shown us lots of different techniques over the course of the last hour and 35 minutes. Oh, I, to I told you that's what I was going for. It definitely feels like this collection more so than any other that we've done. Yeah. It was very, very technique for us. I, I felt like I had a lot I wanted to show everybody with this one. Now watch this. We're going to mask out that one in the background first, and I'm going to just bring in, let's have a look at them, if I can get everything lined up perfectly. Here we go. Can you see it just highlights all over those ones there? Yeah. Here we go. And then we can start and come in. And I'm just going to use the crushed velvet because it's a very similar colour. And then I have got somewhere here a bit of midnight for the one in the background as well. Lovely. There we go. 
Yeah, don't forget if you want those ink pads, um, you can head to our website, all the, uh, the full range I think available for you there. We're back in stock, I know we, we sold out a few of those uh, back in the last year, but lots of uh, those colors are now back in stock. And again, if you are um, after your daubers, you know, if you, uh, tools for your inking, um, we have got that uh, great collection on the show as well, which brings you your, uh, your circular ones, your rectangulars, you've got all of the um, replacement heads in there as well, your brayer tool in there. Um, there it is, details bottom of your screen there now. £30 or $40, I reckon that's a great buy. Uh, 47 91 or 72 55 is what you should normally pay. Look at this, I love how it all comes together. Oh, Look at how they just... really hit the front now. It's just, it, it, it's that last little bit at the end. Oh, actually, I need, need a little bit more round here. It's as you start and see it, and this is the beauty. This is why, and let me just tell you, it's all about having the two types. It's about having the embossing folder and the stencils yeah. and being able to work together across the two, which we just, like I said, we did a range. It was about, I think it was about 18, 24 months ago, Ben. Wow. Um, and I don't know why it's taken us so long to do another collection, but then our... I mean, the illustrators we have in the business now are just absolutely off the chart. Yeah. So it's fabulous to be able to kind of bring that level of illustration to life through these now too. So there we go. So if we just lift that one up there. Yes, oh, now yes. you're talking, you see, I really like that. And this is why we've got these like little bits of missing around in the background. Yeah. That's because we did the colour afterwards. So the other contrast is you could do the colour beforehand. And then if you want to do the same again in terms of a little bit of, give it an ethereal feel. That looks at the, it almost looks like a close up of the dandelion. And the, the background there looks like this, it looks like the sea or like a, a lake to me. Do you know what I mean? The background oh. there, that's what it looks like to me. I do love it. I do love so And it's cool. just the fact that every one has been completely different. Yeah. So, right, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to layer all these up, Ben, onto another nice base card. Lovely. Um, I reckon you've probably got about another 10 minutes or so before we crown our uh, our, our favourite of the show, Ooh. or your favourite of the show. I reckon right. we're going to get... get... I'll get another one in then, don't you worry, I'm Speedy Gonzalez crafting. Although it's been really <laughs> nice to be able to take my time and really show, really to go back in, in, into a lot of detail with these. Just yeah. been a bit different, hasn't it? Well, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, so you promised loads of different techniques which we've seen. We've seen, what's this? This is what? This is demo four, isn't it? Demo number four. Get one more in, five demos. That's pretty good going, we'll I would say. We'll have done all right there. Pretty good going. you let me come again. A well, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, why don't we do another show, you and I, tomorrow? Yes, it's a date, Ben. What about, say, about ooh, four, four o'clock UK time? Four o'clock GMT. Yeah. I'll be there with bells on, Ben. Well, why, don't we do a, um, why don't we do a launch party? Well, that's what we have to do on a Tuesday at four o'clock. Yeah? Just, 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 I, I, I like you, like, uh, oh, why don't we do this? Well, that's what we do, Ben. <laughs> at, at four o'clock... Now, it is a big one. It Let me is. just tell you, we've got a brand new Totally Tiffany bag on there. We've got a brand new launch of our January craft kit. So those of you who are in the subscription program and have had yours delivered, you'll get loads of hints and tips. Those of you who are waiting for the new box, you need to be here tomorrow. You know what happens when those new boxes come on board. So, yes, so it's going to be a big one tomorrow. I can promise you that. It's going to be good. There's that background. Good. I'm going to be amazed if this now isn't the new favourite, you know. Absolutely. I'll be flabbergasted. My flabber will be gasted. I'm just <laughs> going to have a look and see if I can find Where did I say the... the uh, oh, I found, I found Craig's what? draw. Oh, have you? Was we've it? got we've we've got, got the foam pads, pads yeah. of all different shapes and sizes. Oh, well, that, I'll tell you what. He's, I, I can see him, actually. He's outside. He's, uh, he is, yeah. He'll be, he'll be having words of it. He's not looking. He's not looking. Craig's up with you on the next show, isn't he? He absolutely is, yeah, Monday Makers. I, I, I I'd want to say that I can see him uh, getting ready out there and working hard and preparing for the show, but he's not. He's just like he's having a cup of tea and he's having a right he old gas. He just looks like he's having a cup of tea and a big gossip, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got his feet up. <laughs> no other lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be dropping a minute, bless him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh dear! No, he's not. He's working very hard. He's, he's getting prepped, ready for the show. Uh, yeah, Monday makers coming up. We've got the um, we've got the uh, spiral dies coming up, and there's twirlers as well. A little bit later on, twirly characters. Look at this though! Wow. Now I did have a little sentiment somewhere, but you know, to be honest, Ben, it's a, it's an amazing I can find my own hand in the middle of all of this, let alone <laughs> anything else. So you don't need a sentiment on it for it to look awesome. You can see how awesome it looks there on its own. 
Absolutely love that. And uh, I can understand now why everybody is commenting um, on this collection. Lots of people commenting about the dandelions now as well. Tammy's favourite is the hummingbird. Uh, Jody saying a tie for me between the dandelions and the hummingbird. Uh, Sarah on Facebook, really enjoying the show. And Sarah, all the cards are beautiful. So hard to choose, but I do love the butterfly. Um, and well, Lorraine's... Back to the first one. Yeah. Lorraine saying uh, the dandelion just jumped into first place. This yes! Is <laughs> yeah. Nailed that demo, nailed it. Yes! Um, so it's going to be really interesting. These three cards that you can see in front of me here are the, uh, the three which Sarah has made so far. So the first one was the, uh, the beautiful butterfly. Uh, all right. Oh, don't. I'm just... There. Dandelions. We like the dandelions. We know which one Sarah wants to win. Uh, so yes, the beautiful um, butterfly was number one. Then number two was these, uh, the roses, absolutely gorgeous. So that's what you're gonna get in the collection, the second. You then saw this, actually I think it's probably my fave, that wonderful hummingbird, I think that's amazing. That was the third demo. And of course the demo that you've just seen, number four was the gorgeous, gorgeous, um, uh, dandelions you're also going to get within this collection by the way these precious poppies so that comes with it as well don't forget two stencils and that um 3d embossing folder as well and then you will also get which is the one that we've missed now i'm losing track here oh it's this one isn't it it's the lily there we go so that is the uh, the sixth within the collection which is your favorite though of the four which is your favorite Make your mind up time and also time to get shopping as well because we are now almost 40% of a big stock gone. Remember launch day, brand new. You can be one of the very first to get your hands on this collection. Really brilliant concept. Now, so used to seeing kind of like um, stamp and die collections. First time that I've seen a collection like this, 3D folders and stencils working hand in hand. And again, the brilliant thing about this is the simplicity of it, isn't it? You don't need to be kind of expert level crafter to be able to create cards, which are really gonna stand out. It's a collection which, whether you started crafting today or you've been crafting for 10 years, you've got the ability to make simply stunning cards with in next to no time. 44.99 or 58.27 is your price today. Less than 20% if you're a platinum member. Uh, that price is 35.99 or $46. So do not miss out. We're gonna squeeze in another demo with Sarah in just a few moments. I just wanna remind you of a few other bits and pieces that we've got on the show as well. This blending collection I think is absolutely brilliant. So if you're into your, uh, your inks, if you wanna get uh, using your ink pads with your stencils, for example, then this is an absolute must because you're gonna get your round dauber and your rectangular. Those come with replacements as well, and then you're also going to get 10 replacement heads for your rectangle, or your square rectangle, 10 replacement heads for your circle. You're gonna get a craft mat with that. You're gonna get your um, large brayer tool. You're gonna get those blending sponges. You've got your um, spritzers, your misters in there as well, four of those. And then you've got your blending palette as well. I think that's a phenomenal buy. For £30 or $40, 35% saving pretty much everything that you need there. Uh, the only one other thing which you might want to add into that is uh, the um, finger daubers, which again are proving really popular. You can get those individually. Uh, as producer Johnny was saying a little bit earlier on, really low price on these, um, under £20, $26. You get 40 of those again. So you've got you know kind of one for each and every colour and then you get the storage um, kit with that as well. So uh, 19 50 or $26, um, saving 20%. Uh, let's have a look at some of the pictures which you have been sending in. Love this. Uh, Robin, uh, the 21st oh, birthday little wow. pop-up box there. That's great, isn't it? Absolutely. Wow, wow, wow. I love it. Um, brilliant. Thank you, Robin. Looks like you've uh, you've been busy crafting during that uh, during the Christmas break. Still time to send in your pictures if you want to do so. Studio at Crafters Companion co.uk and last chance saloon to vote um, on your favorite card so far um, what are you going to do for the last one then Sarah what's well, your last demo so I'm going I'm to do the lilies because this is the technique that I this is the only one that I really wanted to be able to show everyone so can you see on here Ben can you see how the lights bouncing off certain areas mm. that's because we've used a mixture of the water reactive and then the pigment inks to then oh, yeah. add a little bit of embossing powder onto the tips. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do there is I'm going to show you the technique, but you basically reverse the use of the ink pads. So you'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm going to get the folder. So I'm going to take the embossing folder there, uh, pop the five by seven card into the embossing folder and send that through. 
So we're going to emboss the um, the lilies onto there. Then you know how the other way around, we use the, with the stencil, we use the lighter colour first and then put the darker colour on top. We're going to do it differently this time. We're going to oh, use okay. the darker colour for the base layer of the flower. <gasps> this, this folder is absolutely, let me just get that trimmed off so it's perfect absolutely to die for in terms of the 3d-ness there on the um i know that's not really a word the 3d ability whatever you want this whatever we want to call it 3 d the 3d ability is good on the um on the leaves is absolutely off the chart right there we go absolutely loving this one that's we've even started and i feel i feel a little bit rotten now that i've waited right till the end can you see Again, you can see it from the underneath, just how detailed that really is in there and how you've got light bits and then really detailed pieces. So here we go. We're going to start off. So you've got your two layers of your stencils, OK? One looks more detailed than the other. So this one goes on first and puts your base layer of colour. Then this one goes on over top and adds your highlights. So for your base layer of colour, we're going to get this absolutely perfect. So we're going to just hold it in place with a little bit of the spray. And I'm going to take me time to get that absolutely spot on. Oh, yeah, I've got that spot on. That was that was good luck, not just good management there, by the way, folks. <laughs> oh, no, she spoke too soon. Got it spot on round there. Need to get it spot on round this part as well. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Right. And then I'm going to use those finger daubers because I want it to be absolutely perfect. So I'm going to do a mix of um, lemon tonic, a little bit of honey pot, and I think I'll get a little bit of the, um, where's my orange? There we go. A little bit of orange blended into there as well. And uh, I'm going to warn you now, I'm also going to go quiet. Okay. So it's, it, we're all yours, Ben. Well, to be honest with you, I've got a bit of work to do with this side because I'm trying to I'm trying to sort of correlate all of the, the messages coming in about the favourite cards. Um, Producer Johnny, could you do some adding up? <laughs> There's too many of them. Uh, Regina's saying, I love the dandelions. Hard to believe how much money and effort I spend every year getting rid of them in my yard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, v Renee on uh, Facebook saying, the dandelion is the winner. Um, and then lots of lovely messages coming in about today's show. Um, Aisha on Facebook saying, learned a lot today, as always. I'm uh, going to try my hand at some of the techniques. Mary Jen on YouTube saying, Ben, I love the roses. Roses are always my favourites. Not had someone saying about the roses for a while, so they're back in the mix. This is the problem, you see, when you do the demo right at the beginning, isn't it? That's the demo that everyone's then thinking of. Yeah. Um, roses have a wow effect, says Paula. Um, roses for me. Uh, Marion says on Facebook, my friends are going to be blown away when I send them cards using this collection. All praise to your stencils and embossing folders for making me look better than I am. Um, oh, I'm from, sure it's not a case of better than you are. It's just more confident maybe Absolutely. than what you already are. Um, last chance saloon. We're, we're going to make a decision on these cards in just a second. You've got to obviously um, counter into the fact as well that we've got this gorgeous um, Lily as well. Um, producer Johnny's just getting his calculator out. We'll, we'll, we'll make a decision in the next five or six minutes. I feel a bit nervous now. I feel a bit nervous. Having well, hey, you've still one. got time then. If okay. you've got a favourite, you've still got time. And just explain to me again, because I haven't totally followed it all. Yep. So I picked my favourite card, and then what happens on Sunday? Right, so we get... So on Second Chance Sunday, yeah. we then get to look back at the whole week, you see. So we can look back at your demo and, and and to people who missed that particular show we can then point you because so say for ah. example say for example your hummingbird wins right and it's behind is it joe on sunday yeah it's so behind joe joe will pick it up and go oh look at this amazing card this card is the one that sarah made on uh, monday and then he can point people to the chase so they can go back and watch it so he's, so he's not necessarily going to say sarah is the winner ha ha in your face leanne craig fiona debbie whoever else has been here all week in, I don't know if he would say that particularly. I'd love it if he did. That would be funny, wouldn't it? If he said, <laughs> ha ha, in your face. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if he is going to do that. He might do if you ask him nicely. If you send him an email, he probably will. Ah, I can suggest it, can't I? Yeah, absolutely you should. <laughs> I'll, I'll tune in just to see that. I mean, you're the boss, sorry. You can tell him to do whatever. Very, very true. Very true. <laughs> right, there is my... Three colours. Oh, hello, yes. man. The lilies look the jackpot. Right. Yes. There's my three layers of lilies. And uh, now I'm going to do my three layers of, um, uh, well, let's just, go, let's just go a little bit later. So I'm going to do the green. 
and I'm going to go green topaz with a little bit of maybe smoked emerald in there as well. Right, you're going to lose this again, Ben. Okay. I'm just it's like I know in. I'm used to it at all, I've had all show. <laughs> Uh, the roses have a wow effect, says Paula. Hummingbirds is my favourite, says Tansy Pansy. Uh, Anna Louise on Facebook says, my daughter says uh, the roses, I say dandelions. Shaw Pack on YouTube says, I missed the first three demos, but still love the elegant roses. Uh, your work is evident by itself. And Teresa on Facebook says, I can't choose. It's like picking your favourite child. <laughs> I don't think it's quite to that level. I don't know, but um, look, what's my favourite? I mean, I don't know if that's going to get got any sway. I think, I think mine's favourite is the hummingbird. You know. See, the, I, I must admit, I did really enjoy. The, I enjoyed the whole the, the colour blending, the colour blending on, the, on that yeah. demo. You see. Um, Mm. I mean, I suppose you can't help it if my demos are so fantastically well, educational, Ben, that you're just blown away by I mean, everything we cover. You that, know. That is, that's exactly, exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, let's get word from the gallery. Um, Producer Johnny, what's your favourite card? Yeah. He's saying the dandelions. Oh, dandelions are his favourite. Uh, oh, and the... You can't, yeah, well, you can't then list them all out. Dandelions. Um, um, Adam, he's um, pressing the buttons. The roses. I see that everyone's going. <laughs> Did you just call him Adam pressing the buttons? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. so that, that would go down well, did wouldn't you, it? Yeah. Did you, did you know, though, by the way, he's obviously our studio manager, is his correct title, but do you know that he's now a lord as well? Oh, yes, I heard about this. This is incredible. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> he uh, he got bought some land for his uh, Christmas present. Um, when you think, you're thinking, oh, how many acres? One square foot. Uh, of land somewhere in Scotland. We'll have to ask Craig a little bit later on exactly uh, where it is. And um, apparently, if you own that land, that then you, you then become a lord. So he's the, he's the lord of one square foot of land somewhere in Scotland. So he's now saying that we've got to call him Lord, uh, Adam. lord Adam of the Buttons. Lord Adam. That's his, that's his <laughs> what title. Did you say? Lord Adam of Buttons. Of the Buttons, yeah, because he presses all the buttons, doesn't he? And he's, got the, he's the button <laughs> presses them. Makes us look good. Or he makes does, me make, look he good does anyway. make us look good. <laughs> right, let's have a look. I'm feeling the time pressure now here of getting yes. the stencil into exactly the right bit. You know, do you know the more I try, the more I'm uh, I'm not getting in the right place. So I think I might just do a little bit at a time, right? Okay. So now this is the reason it's so important. There we go. Let's just get the leaves right. I'm going to get the leaves right round here, okay? Is I'm going to change out my water reactives, and I'm going to bring in my pigments right? right and if you're doing that you need different finger daubers so i'm going to bring a new finger dauber in for the lagoon here right and the difference is because these are pigment uh -huh. the embossing powders will now stick to them ah. so we're going to emboss we're going to heat emboss over top of this okay so i'm using the uh, the lagoon which is a completely different color again different kind of deeper shade and I'm just applying this under here and I'm going to use the clear embossing powder so I can do the lagoon and then I'm going to, I'm going to go in with a little bit of lemon tonic around my, um, around my, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? Lily, 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 Sorry, Lily. Lily, yes. I'm there, I'm there. Right. Yeah, I'm going to have to pay attention now, otherwise I'm going to get different colours all mixed up. Right. Uh, We've got lots of people commenting on uh, Lord Adam now. Apparently, we've got more lords and ladies watching the show uh, as well, which is uh, there's been lots of land bought as presents. Not just crafters' companion goodies this Christmas, but uh, land uh, as well. Lots of comments still coming in about these um, these demos. Lilies now seem to be the favourite. Wanda, the lilies gorgeous. Lilies are my favourite, says Marilyn. Uh, but the dandelions are also my favourite in this collection. Uh, Eleanor on YouTube. Well, now my favourite is the lilies. Paula saying this lily uh, would make such a gorgeous Easter cards. Absolutely, wouldn't they? But oh, again, that's think... a brilliant idea. The Easter card, yes. Because yeah. um, we don't generally bring out products specific for Easter, so um, this would be brilliant. Like you say, the lilies would work fantastic for that. Brilliant suggestion. I just think as well with all of the beautiful flowers that you've got in this you've got something for every occasion like year round really it's such a versatile collection um as we're seeing it and so easy to use again as you've seen um the fact that it all works beautifully together with the oh hang on a minute look at this oh and this is before we've got the embossing powder on yeah so now Here we, we get loads of clear embossing powder on there 
And we'll pop that all off. Oh, yes, now you're talking. Now you're talking, you see, and you only get the embossing powder on the air, the pigment, because we only want the embossing powder on the pigment one there. So I'm just going to pop that back in the jar and then get the heat gun out. Um, Robin on Facebook saying, yes, Ben, there is a land by place in Scotland that the proceeds go towards the maintenance of the refuge. Very cool. Um, and Anne Louise on Facebook, my son became, my sons became lords this Christmas as well. Ha ha, my daughters became ladies last Christmas. Ah, oh, I want to become a lord. There you go. If anyone's, anyone's listening next uh, Christmas. Uh, um, oh, or birthday, yeah, April the 30th. There we go. Your 30th, Ben? No, I'm not, no. <laughs> My birthday is April the 30th. All right. Yeah. I was thinking, why he's pushing that a bit, isn't he? <laughs> trying, to, trying to get us to believe that. Can you believe I mean, how are you? It's outrageous. I was like, is this what we're telling everybody? It's your 30th coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny how you can go off someone, isn't it? <laughs> 35 this year. Right, I am in my own little world now, but I am really liking the uh, the sheen that we're getting on all of this. And I'm conscious that I'm running out of time, Ben. You so are, I might three have to minutes. Cut you. Where's well, that two hours gone, Sarah? It's flown by. Hang on, I can't hear you, man, when I've got my heat gun in. I have no clue what you've just said to That's me. That's fine. All right. I was saying time's flying. Ah, yes it is. Always does when you're having fun. Exactly right. Right. Can you see there how that light is just bouncing off there? Love it, right? Then all I was going to do was actually use my tri-blends to colour in all the, um, the bricks in the mm. background. So can you see? And then if you want to go with a slightly different, if you want it like a little bit of light bouncing off the corner, all you'd do is you'd come in down the edge like that. And then you'd come back in with your lightest one and then blend all that out. Right, so that's how you'd get like a kind of 3D, 3D brick effect going on in the background. What I've got is, here is the one where I've coloured all my 3D bricks in. Amazing. Yeah, and you can see there, if I just tilt that to the light, you can see the bits where we've got the 3D embossing part, the, well, the three, do you know that's like 3D embossing with 3D yeah. colouring with embossing powder on the top? Yeah. That's about as awesome as it gets, I would say. And then all I'm going to do, because I am going to get this card finished, is I'm just going to lay these up and then this can go in the drawer for favourite cards as well. Well, listen, we are um, a, a minute, minute and a bit away, so we're going to pick the winning card in just a second. Um, this deal though, fantastic. Over 40% of the launch stock has gone. Uh, remember you get, well, everything that you've seen, the lilies. The only, uh, I think the only collection we didn't see was those poppies, um, but you get all of it. Um, stencils and the 3D embossing folder, of course, for you to be able to create cards just like this. Really, really simply indeed. 44.99, 58.27, uh, saving was 15 pounds, almost 20 dollars um, on the deal today. You'll be one of the very first to get this collection back and get playing with it. Uh, and as you can see, again, just proving with the sentiment that Sarah's just putting on here, these are just perfect for all sorts of occasions right throughout the year. Look at that. New home. There we go. New home, all stuck down. There's my 3D. You know, it's good to know what, uh, what everybody's favorite, favorite technique was, as well as the favorite pattern. I, I quite liked the uh, sparkle background onto the texture paste, but I must say, I think the hummingbird multi-layering up the colouring, mm. that was definitely one of my favourites. I think if I have to make a decision, which apparently I do, um, because there's been so many votes for all of them, I think probably just slightly sneaking ahead, and just for the fact that I think, the, for, the, for the demo itself, I think the winning card is going to be the hummingbird. So there we Woo! go, that is it, yeah! Give yourself a round of applause, you did it. Um, yeah. So that, that's the card we're going to be popping uh, back uh, behind us here. Uh, and of course, we'll be recapping on that on uh, Second Chance Sunday. Sarah, um, so much fun. Thank you. We're back together tomorrow. Just give us another quick sneak peek as to what's coming up on launch party. Yes, well, I've got a brand new launch from Tiffany on launch party tomorrow. Plus, we've got this month's craft kit box coming up on the show tomorrow. And I'm going to do a sneaky peek of a launch that we've got on Wednesday. It is a huge, huge week here at Crafters TV. 
Sunday. Honestly, the lineup of shows we've got for you is off the chart. So don't go anywhere. You've got about an hour to go and grab a bite of lunch or breakfast wherever you are, make a cup of tea, join our Craig with Ben back here in about an hour for a fantastic Monday Makers as well. Sarah, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. I'm looking forward to that. Yes, be back in an hour. Monday Makers, uh, me and Craig. Uh, but for now, from uh, me, as Lorraine calls me, Lord Ben of Presenters. <laughs> uh, see you in an hour.